Welcome back. My name is Kit. I'm Phil. And I'm Steve. And this is Streaming Things, a podcast about TV and film properties. You probably know. But if you're new here, that's what we do. We talk about various and sundry movies. We do episode by episode recaps and reviews of popular TV shows. But this series is about Star Wars. You might have heard of it. The Wars, baby. It's finally happening. A long time ago it happened. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to bring it back up. Yeah. This is history. Yeah, it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Mm-hmm. You know, we're bringing the culture to you. But it's relevant, I think, mm-hmm. to our current political climate. It is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about it like it's Dan Harland, Carlin's hardcore history, but Star Wars. <laughs> Be really serious. And then the Empire. Now, what you have to understand about the rebels is they needed a secret rebel base from which to operate from. Mm -hmm. The thumb of the empire Mm -hmm. pressed on us all. So we find ourselves in the Hoth system. The whole shtick here, we've brought our friend (laughs) Phil back again. Steve and Phil are are lifelong friends and also diehard fans of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Bones. Uh, I, not so much, right? And I I had a really pleasant experience with A New Hope. Uh, And then we'll talk about how I felt with Empire Strikes Back. Did the good times roll? (laughs) We'll find out (laughs) soon. By the way, I want to address the video watchers uh, experiencing the jump scare right now. Similar to when Vader finally took off his mask is what they're experiencing with me without a hat. (laughs) I was going to say, like, I don't remember the last time I've seen you without a hat on. I just, I I was in a hurry. That's okay. I I had a rough night. It's a good look. I honestly was chagrined when I got in the car and I was like, well. We're going to lose a lot of video watching. What you should have done is you should have gotten a Sharpie and put those little like dots on your head so you could look more like Darth so you Vader. you green screen me? <laughs> like mocap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have that ability? Why do yeah, they do I'm, the dots? I don't know. I'm going to make you Jar Jar Pinks. Just turn me into, uh, what's his name from Planet of the Apes? Caesar. Caesar, yeah. yeah. We could write A24 just right here. <laughs> <laughs> like a prison tat yeah. on yeah. my head. Yeah. So Ooh. last night I had still had to watch Return of the Jedi and it was like 10.30. I dropped my son off. We went to see Dune Part Two again. <laughs> Dune, uh, fucking incredible movie. And uh, I, I turn it on, and then my friend, my like childhood best friend, like my Phil, that I actually don't talk to that much anymore, um, called me. And I'm like, I'm like 11 minutes into Return of the Jedi, and I'm like, ah. okay. So I answer. We talk for over an hour. To my chagrin, Ooh. you know, what I mean? <laughs> like, but, I, late I'm, night. but I'm like humans. This is more important. It's a human thing. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, I'm like, fuck. At the same time, you're like the wars, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I stayed up to one, watched as much as what I could, and then had to wake up, set an alarm for this morning and then finish it. And it, for some reason, it's fucking two hours and 20 minutes. So I was like, <laughs> well, it's the last of a trilogy. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got to know about these Ewoks. <laughs> There's no tighter edit of these movies. It could be done at all. <laughs> but uh, weird. this week we're doing Empire Strikes Back. That's right. That's right. This is Empire Strikes Back. What people, I think it's safe to say, often say, is the best of all Star Wars movies. I think if you took a poll <clears throat> and, and which movie was considered the favorite of most people, it would be a landslide for Empire Strikes Back. That's my sense from being chronically yeah, For a long yeah. time it was, yeah. If it's not number one, it's number two. Yeah. I'm interested to see what you guys would think would get more votes. I mean, I know what my pick is, but I'm not going to reveal that until we're at that one. Mm. You'd be happy. Ah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I think the tides are turning on that one again, but we'll get there. Solo. Uh, So, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Solo. We're talking about Empire Strikes Back. Uh, By the way, a brief apology to all of our listeners that might have experienced a disruption or an issue last week. As soon as we debutted, the Star Wars series that we've been working on starting for a while. We had a major issue with our host at the time, Spotify. Uh, We, at some point in the middle of the day, it's not like we got an email or a message or anything courteous from a company. We were alerted by our listeners who were gradually panicking, saying, hey, there's the new episode stopped halfway through for our ardent fans that listened to it right away. Or uh, what's worse, there is no new episode. And then finally people were like, your whole fucking show is gone. So what had happened was Spotify, I assume an AI algorithm detected a copyright issue with our Star Wars episode. And so they deleted, removed the entire show, the whole show, not just the Star Wars episode, all of streaming. No, things. no, no. White from the Internet. It is as if a thousand listeners cried out in anguish <laughs> and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> That's right. Do they? Did they say what the copyright? No, no. They didn't even say we had been removed. We had to reach out to them because our listeners alerted us, which is the part that makes me angry. 
And they told Steve, oh, it appears like there's a copyright issue. Let's look into it. And about 10 hours went by. Oh, this is after, that's the fourth person I talked to who finally said, I'll look into it. The other three ignored me. Yeah, so it was like 10 hours went by, no words. The show was still gone on the big Star Wars day. Uh, Finally, I angrily tweeted about it. And then I had a lot of loyal (laughs) friends and fans that were tagging Spotify. Woke up the next morning once the people were, the, the rabble was roused. Uh, and the show was magically back, but they said, we still don't know why it was taken off. We'll continue looking into it. And we have never heard a follow up yeah, from them. They've never like, we've, we've followed up with them like, Hey, any word. And they've never said what happened because yeah, there's, I have theories of what could have tripped it, but yeah, I think it's the star Wars episode for sure. Mm-hmm. And because Disney's like canonically <laughs> uh, <laughs> voracious about copyright strikes and stuff <clears throat> mm-hmm. and um I'm thinking, was there a lot of stuff in there that 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 we threw in that well the only thing be- i can think of is the music that andy made might be too similar to the actual phantom oh, menace song okay uh, yeah and I, it just tripped whatever ai algorithm that probably looked at it but okay. they still haven't like told us because even at 1 a.m they're like hey we, re- we we reviewed it and it's fine we put it back up sorry they, well they didn't even say sorry they just said they put it back up so <clears throat> um we have changed hosts Long story short, yeah, so that won't happen again. But if no you, one else have, that I'm aware of has ever had this issue with their with their podcast, so we okay. thought we should move from Spotify as a host. Yeah. So if you do like to watch our episodes on Spotify, unfortunately, we can't do that at the present moment because that is a perk of host being a being hosted by Spotify. Yeah. So I have to find a workaround for that, and I don't know if there is one. So if you do want to watch the show currently in a visual format, you have to go to YouTube for that. So we'll see you in YouTube. Yeah. If you want that. Uh, but yeah, sorry that that happened. We had to like co- talk to Apple Podcasts about getting our show back up. We had to fight fo- like we had, it, it had scrubbed all of our years and years and years of reviews and ratings and stuff off of Apple Podcasts. That's over fifteen hundred reviews and rankings. Luckily, Apple Podcasts was very helpful <clears throat> in getting those back for us. But yeah, uh, not a very good experience. The mouse overall. has teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> Fuck with me again. Don't make a guitar riff of Phantom Menace, you sons of bitches. Uh. <laughs> make me, bitch. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say if that was uh, something that upset you, we are very sorry because it deeply upset us, you know? Traumatizing. Because I've got lots of friends that have their entire YouTube pages and TikTok pages removed due Ugh. to cap- copyright strikes. They're never told what specifically they did wrong. That's so... And they never uh, get their account back. That's so frustrating. And so I had this... I had like three friends I can think of off the top of my head that that's happened to. So I thought, oh God, like... They could, this could, it could never come back. And I, we couldn't do anything about it. I know from experience. So that was like, you know, it was only 24 hours, but it was pretty traumatizing. That's at really first. scary. I, I, I didn't know that that happened. Yeah. It was a rough, rough week. So weird, <laughs> you know, weird way to start our big star Wars series debut. Uh, but we're back baby in it's in full swing empire this week. Return of the Jedi will drop next week while we're at South by Southwest. We'll have some South by Southwest coverage there. Uh, and then by the time we return, shortly after that, we'll be starting our coverage of Fallout uh, on Prime Video, which starts, I believe, April 12th. That'll be fun. Super excited for that. Uh, we're all fans of the games and stuff to, to varying degrees. So that that should be interesting. And then we've got The Boys, House of the Dragon, Arcane, all kinds of cool stuff coming this year. Uh, I do want to say Dune Part 2, fucking amazing, since I'm with two nerds. Uh, yeah. Go see it in as big a crowd as you can with the biggest screen you can. Uh a, a, a generational event. Um, truly. I'm not, I can't gas it up enough, but yeah, go to patreon.com slash streaming things. If you want to support the show financially, if you can't do that, please rate and review the show wherever you're listening to this. Uh, sadly, uh, sometimes the reviews disappear, but they're still very <laughs> helpful. So please do that. Go to streaming If you want to see all of our other content and things that we're covering. And uh, just thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Let's get to you uh, to pissing off you Star Wars nerds. (laughs) And I mean, you two. Uh, (laughs) So Empire Strikes Back, 1980, the second in the original trilogy. Um, I have a question for you guys. Uh, Mm. We'll we'll get that in a second. It was directed by Irvin Kirshner, not George Lucas. Right. Right. George Lucas took a step back, said, hey, I'm not too good with the humans, but I do have a vision. I need help here. Is that what was going on, you I think? think? Maybe a person should direct people. Yeah. <laughs> and Irvin Kirshner. Not an alien man. Did a great job. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Irvin Kirshner, uh, really great director. Killed it. If, you, if you've 
I mean, he's known for <laughs> a lot of movies that don't have high ratings, like Never Say Never Again or RoboCop 2. But mm. I like those movies. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, again, this is uh, when did when did, and here's my question. When did the episodes come in? Episode five, episode six. Only after the prequels did they become no, episodes? they came in during Empire. Really? Like it was called episode five in I 1980. Believe, I believe A New Hope was called just Star Wars A New Hope. And then during Empire, they realized that they were going to make three movies of this. And this was going to be the yeah. middle of the tale. Mm-hmm. I, I believe. I Interesting. Believe. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, Empire the Strikes Back was the guy. first one that came out and it was episode uh V. Uh, v. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they went, they retroactively went back and changed A New Hope to episode four. Well, because originally, because the first movie was called Star Wars, right? Yeah, correct. It was yeah. just called Star Wars. Yeah. And then actually the script originally was called, hold on, Journey of the Wills. Something, the Journal of the Wills. With an H, I think. Yeah, W-H-I-L-L-S. I mean, there's so many different versions of this. Oh, I, I want to say too, because it's important to note for the listeners. I watched the shittiest possible version of all of these movies. Okay. So which <laughs> version so, did you watch? Cause I think we all must've watched different versions. I, I, I'm just a lazy Disney plus it on Disney every plus. one of these. Okay. So I watched the 2004 DVDs, which is probably a way to go. Right. Well, I don't know. Like, ha, like how bad is the Disney plus so version bad. then? Why? What, what, what <laughs> well, did there was a it? moment. I think it's empire. It might've been uh return. It's return. Cause you watched them back to back. I did. Sorry, guys. Uh, but there's a moment, but it's relevant to like what addition I had to all of these. I think uh, there's a moment in Return of the Jedi where uh, they're in the desert and at the Sarlacc pit mm-hmm. and it looks so fucking bad. And I think it's the result of trying to redo them in the late 90s that makes it look that way. Right. Possibly. Um, yeah, I, I, it's hard to say so without knowing the exact shot you're referring to. an establishing shot of the palace that looks bad? It's not the palace. Like the they're, they're on the little floaty things being transported as prisoners. Barge. And it's a wide shot of the barges and the dunes. Uh, and Is this in the motion? The dunes are clearly fake instead of shooting at a desert, which would have been <laughs> the obvious thing to do. And, and, it, and it looks like, do uh, you guys remember Beetlejuice? When it cuts to like when the worm comes out and gets Beetlejuice, it like looks like that. <laughs> but it without the aesthetic of a Beetlejuice movie, it's just very yeah. like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, any who's old. But that's the edition I watched is like and I definitely watched the uh, the Return of the Jedi one where it's like. Which yeah, it's kind of we'll I'm warming up to that. Talk scene. all about that. I'm warming up to that. But mm-hmm. Empire, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's talk about our overall thoughts. The, the, what we're doing with these Star Wars movies is we're going to talk about our overall thoughts, our, our <clears> history with the movie, go through a scene by scene, play by play reaction. Uh, and then we get some fun stuff when we'll, we'll finish our, our Mad Libs, our Star Wars Mad Libs that will start any moment. Uh, and then we've got a, a, a medal ceremony. Each of us are going to try to find something to assign to each of these films that it does better than every other film in the franchise. Something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what's the other thing we're going to do? Oh, we're going to rank them. Mm. Kids love a good ranking they these love days. A good ranking. But the, the shtick with streaming things is we all have to agree on the ranking. We have to come to consensus. <clears throat> so if mm. Phil says A New Hope is better and Steve says Empire is better, we have to sit, stay here. We got to settle. Until we it. get a podcast Oof. way. Oof. Which three people? It's good. Somebody. Yeah. Um, somebody's always a swing vote. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So anywho, so that's the plan. Democracy. Um, I love democracy. <laughs> I love that. Steve. Fascism for me. I guess before we do the, <laughs> before we do the, clip that, before we no. do, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> before we do the overall thoughts, let's do the, the Mad Libs. It's time for the Mad Libs. Boys, are you ready? Yes. Bill, Kit, to give me the words so I can put the pen to the paper and we can help Mad Libs craft a story for us that we will read at the very end of the episode? Yes. Y'all ready? Who wants to go first? Kit. I'll go. Kit's going first. Kit, I need heart of the body. Gooch. Phil, give me an adjective. Gooch-like. Okay. <laughs> Kit, give me an adjective. Um, well, he stole mine. Um, <laughs> patient. Phil, verb, blasted. Oh, maybe like a blast. 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 Okay, sure. yeah, blast. blast. Okay. Noun. Carnival. Noun. Clown. Noun. Octopus. Plural noun. Horses. Noun. Jungle. Last name of a celebrity. Nay. 
Stop it. After on? Oh, well, Teresa May, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Kit, I need a part of the body, plural. Nipples. Mm. Gotta do some nips. Phil, give me a part of the body. I already took gooch. Yeah. Cheeks. Cheeks. And it's up to you to decide which ones. Should I just say cheek? Because it's just a sure, singular cheek. cheek. Sorry, okay. sorry, cheek. Adjective. <laughs> Stout. Plural noun. Huts. Hut one, Huts. hut two. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Adjective. Lustful. Got those those huts got you thinking. <clears throat> they are like. <laughs> <laughs> and last last but not least, I need a plural noun. Lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot that it was plural. <laughs> the words have been written. It shall be spoken at the end of the episode. As so written. tune in. Yeah, tune in to the end of the episode to find out what these two jabronis have written for us. But, 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 but right now, <laughs> let's talk about your overall thoughts on this movie. I'm curious to know your history, what it was like re-watching it for, for you guys, probably the 40th time. <laughs> Phil. 40th? That's low. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, what was it like revisiting The Empire Strikes Back? I hadn't seen Empire in probably five to six years. Ooh, it's been um, a while. Which was... Really fun to go back and watch it with kind of fresh eyes. Um, obviously, I love it. It's it's among my top three of all the Star Star Wars films. <clears throat> uh, I had a good time with it. Um, there was some stuff that held up. Uh, the 2004 DVD uh, had some kind of rough effects that I kind of forgot about um, in so my this mind. Is the two, the, so this is special editions. Yes. They finally port them onto DVD, right? Yeah. There was a collection in 2004 they released that Steve and I went to go get at the mall. We skipped school to yeah, go we did. at the mall. Um, and uh, yeah, so I watched those because I forgot the Disney Plus login. So I, was like, <laughs> well, I don't want to bother Steve. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop in this DVD. Uh, first, um, first time I've seen that DVD in a long time. Um, <clears throat> so I think it, I think it, it obviously holds up Story-wise, I think the effects are a little bit rough around the edges sometimes, but like considering when it was made and like all the all the generations of improved effects we know of now, like it's it's easy to look back and think like, well, that looks like shit. But like for the time it looked great. So I think it holds up. I, I think it's a fun movie to watch. And it really expands the universe a lot. So mm -hmm. um, watching it sort of like get comfortable in that space where like A New Hope's like, we don't know if, it's, if this is going to turn into a thing or not. Right. So this is like, it really is like, we have an established thing. We know we're going to make another movie after this. Let's just like lean into like world building here and like story building. And I really appreciate it uh, for that part. And, it, and like, Compared to A New Hope, like it doesn't have an especially happy ending. So yeah. it really sort of ended on a weird note for a Star Wars film up to that point. And I appreciate that about it, too. When you popped in those DVDs where you're like, oh, my God, this looks awful. Because I always do that when I pop on a DVD. Because when I was when, you, when you're a kid, you're like, wow, DVDs, high fidelity video. And formatted you know, to fit your screen. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and so, but then when you watch a DVD nowadays, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was pretty bad. So I've got a 4K TV at home, like Brag. most most of us do. Mm -hmm. the, um, but actually, the thing about the DVDs that got me, um, specifically the Empire Strikes Back DVD, is when you hit play, a Wampa comes up and like eats the screen and it fucking scared me <laughs> i wasn't expecting it because i because i don't think i had seen this dvd in like i do miss dvd plus years. dvd menus is a lost art like we will never yeah. have those again and they were just so fun yeah but like i guess like the last time i had watched it was probably on plus at some point in like the the last five or six years or whenever plus came out uh, um, what is this plus you speak of? Plus, sorry, oh, sorry, plus. Thank you. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and so I had forgotten about the Wampa, like Bruh. essentially being the transition into to the film. And is it, the Wampa it, it the Yeti? Me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> I had just popped in the DVD, <laughs> and I was like, from like me to you to the TV, and I hit play. And my intention was to hit play and then like go back on the couch. So I was right on the TV. Yeah. At the time, it it, it got me. It, it got me. Yo, you fell back on the couch. <laughs> it, was, it became your fainting couch. Yes. Oh right. my stars. Yeah. <laughs> 
I do want to say real quick, uh, that day when the the original trilogy finally came out on DVD, because it had been like DVDs have been around for like five years, and Star Wars was one of the, the last movies to like make the transition to go onto DVD. Yeah, they took took their sweet fat time took on their that. Sweet ass time yeah. for sure. Uh, but yeah, we we skipped school. <laughs> Uh, got those DVDs at the a whole day at a Sun Coast. Well, Battlefront One came out at the same yeah. time, so we did like we got the DVDs and the game, not together, right? Or was it like it, we was, had, it was the same? We day. had to go down to like Sun Coast for yeah, the DVDs just, and like hey, you planned EB a games day. For the, we planned a day. So we, if yeah. for anybody who's local to Ohio, we went to the Eastgate Mall, <laughs> went to the Sun Coast at Eastgate Mall, picked up the DVDs. Went around the corner to was it EB, EB Games, EB Games yeah. Electronics Boutique, yeah, and picked up Battlefront One. It came with a little Scout Trooper figure, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> and uh, and then we went home and played Battlefront. I don't think we watched the movies. We just played Battlefront all day. Yeah, right. Um, and I don't I don't think this was the same day this happened, but I just remember we were playing Battlefront probably or some Star Wars game. We're, you know, cross-legged sitting on the ground in oh, front of your was, TV was just... in your room <laughs> and your mom like came in on us and just like, we're like eating cookies with milk and playing <laughs> Battlefront 2. We are also like 18. <laughs> we are not young enough to be doing this. And I remember your mom just looking at us with so much disappointment and going, at least you're not doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was really uh, funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. We were good kids. We were, yeah, we yeah. Were good eggs. Good eggs. Good eggs. But uh, Empire Strikes Back for me is a very special movie. You know, it might be my favorite Star Wars. You, uh, it's it's up there. If if not number one, it's number two for sure. Um, this movie really was the first time as a little kid I was introduced to the idea that the bad guys can win. Uh, th- there's not. There's maybe a little bit of a moral victory. And that Luke and Leia and Lando and Chewie and Nartu and C-3PO got away. But but Han, what, what's or going to Or if you're happen? Lando, Han. Han! <laughs> We've got to save Han! Is it <laughs> <laughs> bothered me. Also, I love the many, because there's the Han Han, and then there's a bunch of people pronounce the Millennium Falcon differently. Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. Falcon. Falcon. Depending on who says it. By the way, a listener wrote in to explain um, Carrie Fisher's uh, bizarre random English accent in A New Hope. Oh, really? She lived in London for a long time or was at the time living in London. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they're filming Star Wars in London. It just came out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Which I get when I'm whenever I'm around a British person, hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> I say. I love. No, I turn into 3PO, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You over you mindless philosophy. <laughs> um, no, I love this movie. Like from the uh, the opening scene with like the like Hoth is such a cool location. You get that, I mean that the battle with the ATA walkers are is one of my favorite things in Star Wars. You get the the, the big plot twist of who Luke's father is. You know, as a little kid, that blows who? your mind. Who? <laughs> Maury Povich came out and he's like, <laughs> great news. You are the father. And yeah, Darth Vader looks sad. Whereas like some other dude's like, yeah, like freaking out. Padme comes running. I told you, motherfucker. I told you, with my money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, this is, this is just a wonderful movie that I love very, very much. Kit, I really want to know. Yeah, let's hear what you think. What yeah. you thought, because I'm on this ride of just finding out kids experience with star wars i am scared so i'm okay. scared hey hey is this hey, a safe this space this is a safe space i don't think I'll it is fucking safe space. punch you <laughs> this is public <laughs> i i'd like this movie right it's a good movie however i um you know i was going into this i actually hadn't seen empire since I was a kid, I don't think, which is weird because I've rewatched A New Hope quite a few times for somebody that doesn't like love it. It's mm-hmm. like always, I think it's because I start like I'm going to watch all the Star Wars movies. And then you don't. And then I don't. I think that's probably <laughs> what it is. Um, <laughs> but like I'm going into it as an adult with this, repu- you know, this movie, knowing the reputation this movie has, right? Like I just watched Dune Part 2 twice. It's a movie that I think is transcendent. And I really do think it's a, a defining movie for our age. Um, and it is compared most often to Empire Strikes Back for many reasons. It's the second and what will probably be a trilogy. It's a sci-fi movie. Star Wars and Dune are uh, what Blade Runner 2049 would say interlinked. 
Uh, that was pretty good. Come Interlinked. <laughs> Interlink. Um, but also like it kind of, there's That's a lot a of deep joke. That, thank you. I do like that. <laughs> it, it, it ends on a down note, much like Empire Strike Back, right? Uh, in many ways. And so I'm going into it with like everybody saying this might be as good as Empire as far as sequels go or, you know, um, so I'm so fucking hyped because there's a lot that I don't like about A New Hope necessarily that I'm excited to 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 see fixed and changed or or expanded upon in this movie. And I, I really I'm not even sure I like it more than A New Hope. I'm not even sure of that. Uh, there's a lot that I love about it. But I, Star Wars as a whole, the original trilogy, I swear to God, it's not the effects that bother me. It's not the fact that it was made in the late 70s or the early 80s. You know what I mean? Um it's not. Uh, I do kind of chuckle at the capitalism of it all. And the fact that some of the worst things are the result of re tinkering and tampering. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not even that it was 1980. It's that it was actually the late nineties and yeah. somebody was being a douchebag playing with their stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's not even <laughs> the issue. It's, it's say like, his name, Kit. <laughs> <laughs> say his name. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> I'll take your podcast again. I'll pull you off Spotify, you piece of shit. I, uh, I, Hello, Richard Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Spotify. You dig Spotify. It's time to call in that favor, you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I think that the, my problem with, with Star Wars as a whole is, is, like there's some really good ideas on paper for, for each of these movies. And I think maybe the, I'm thinking this through for the first time right now out loud. So it's going to sound extra dumb. Um, but with the first one, you can forgive uh, a lot of like, wow, nobody was doing that. Nobody was doing this except for Frank Herbert. Nobody was doing this. And, um, <clears throat> this is really ballsy and crazy. Whereas with the second movie, he's got this, he's got this clout now and he's got this budget. Uh, and there's like, it's story wise that bothers me. It's it's and it's maybe it's the the somewhat juvenile nature of it. That's the fact that it is for kids. Uh, it happens a ton in Return, but like like there will be a scene. The heroes are in trouble. The troopers are really bad aim, but they're <laughs> they're closing in, and something will happen, and the heroes will will lose. They'll get the you know the 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 enemy will have the upper hand. And they've been trying to kill them for hours and then finally they got them and they'll go freeze. And it's such a small thing to most of you, but it, <laughs> it drives me insane. Fucking why? Be why freeze? <laughs> why not blow their fucking brains out? It makes no sense. They're to, not going to hit them to capture them, to <laughs> take them where, you know what I mean? So, I'm getting red in the face. I'm so angry. Like, <laughs> I'm actually glad you bring that up because I did. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, I never thought about this, but I did notice something toward the end of the movie that I never thought about before. That's along those lines. And we'll get to it when we get there. But I, I did notice something like that this time. And it did make me scratch my head and be like, what's the plan here? Yeah, it's just. So. But on paper, if you look at the bullet notes of plot, it's like. And Hoth, and then they come in, they have to leave, and it's like, fuck yeah, dude, this is great. This is genius. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is father, that's a bummer. And, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think that's what the script said. If you look at the bullet points of the ideas, <laughs> Luke finds out Darth Vader is his father. It's bummer. a real bummer. <laughs> <laughs> like his friend Lando, he's got a history with, uh, betrays him. It's a real bummer. <laughs> it's, dude, it's so good, but in execution, it's like goofy. You know what I mean? Like the fuck, the fucking troopers are just in a closet. Like, <laughs> wait till they go to sleep. Wait till they go to sleep. And then we'll pop out. You know, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's silly. There's this. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of the falling asleep are you talking about? Cause they're like at cloud city for a while and they go get changed and stuff yeah. before the, Oh, the I, input before I Vader. love the idea of Vader just like waiting in that room, just like <laughs> sipping his, at his watch, like anytime now they're going to pop in. They're going to be so yeah. mad. Oh, I hear voices through the door down the uh, hall there. <laughs> That's actually literally what happens in return. What are we going to eat at this dinner we trap them in? It happens again because Jabba's just like behind a curtain with all yeah, of his that's friends. That's actually really funny. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes that's yeah, very yeah, funny. Yeah. Like it's stuff like that where I'm like, 
okay. Like it's sometimes shot like a, th- a, a theater. A like stage a, play. A play. Yeah. It's shot like a play. And like on a stage, the whole job a curtain thing, that would be fuck. That would be a riot. That would yeah. crush. You know, it's yeah. the only way you can show it. It's but, still a riot. But I think this <laughs> is a movie. But I think that's the thing. Like you have to suspend a little bit of that like logical brain to watch movies like this because if you don't you're going to have a bad time so you really just need to like lean into like this is a fun play that i'm watching but filmed in a cinematic way but what i'm watching is the birth of massive blockbusters you know what i mean um i don't know so i I, again i had fun i do not think this is the best star wars movie uh I'm not even positive at this moment if it's better than A New Hope. I really honestly think you could take the first three and throw them in the air and snatch one, and I'd go, sure. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm um, pained right now. <laughs> <laughs> there's, to me, there's such a level of I think so degree too, yeah. Of, yeah. of craftsmanship better with but, Empire but than that, compared but, to New Hope. But it sounds like he's like neutral on all three, so this should be yeah. essentially like our pick at this point. Yeah. I'm not going to put up too much of a fight. Okay. I think Empire's edged... Uh, above it for me for again there's scenes there are moments of what the kids would call pink peak in each one of these you know what i mean i think return has some fucking great set oh yeah there's some really good stuff great ideas yeah um highs high high highs and low lows in that one yeah yeah yeah. um so anyway uh that that's my jumbled like (laughs) musings after watching the last two of the first trilogy back to back uh, is that I, the whole, I think that you hit the nail on the head is that it, it really, it's shot like a play yeah. in, in certain of these scenes. And that's what the problem is for me. And that's a great way to explain it. Star Wars has been described as a space op, uh, a space opera. Mm-hmm. And I think once you like kind of understand like the format and the fact that like, yes, these are big blockbuster movies, but they are silly as well. Like you can't take them seriously like you could another like like serious sci-fi movie. These are supposed to be fun. There's some whimsy. There's some tragedy. It's, it's a good like mix of, um, mainstream entertainment that appeals to a lot of people all at once. And at their core, like they are silly to a degree, but they do tell a fun story as well. So I, I think as soon as you like, let go of some of that. I'm I'm not saying don't be critical, but to op- open yourself up to the f- to to the idea of like there's stuff in here that's not going to make sense, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. It's a movie. You've taken your first steps into a much larger world. <laughs> <laughs> Once you do that, I think like you'll have <laughs> like even more fun than what you've had in the past. Well, let's get into it. I'll do my best to. Just take me with a grain of salt. That's okay. I mean, no, 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 this no, is no, part no. of no. my fun. No, I love it. You dude. are valid. Because I was. We respect your oh, opinion about this. This is great. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that we're not all like on the same, like, this is the best movie ever made train. Like, I like the contrast here. This is good. I, I'm honestly so fucking hyped to watch the prequels. Awesome. Because I, <laughs> I, I have this like fear that I'm going to like them more than I like these. Hey, that's okay. If you do, you're wrong, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have the fear. We'll see. <laughs> um, so it starts on Hoth, as Steve had discussed. That's where the movie begins. Uh, by the way, two characters in this movie get worn as a backpack. If you're, if you're keeping track, I did it for you. It's two of them in one movie. And I think that's funny. Um, the, but the <laughs> I'm waiting for that C-3PO backpack. We've all had that Yoda backpack. We, we want that C-3PO one. Is, do they make backpacks with the Yoda like over your oh, shoulder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, technically four do because the Tauntauns wear Han and Luke as backpacks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess. Just saying. Those are mounts. <laughs> <laughs> I live on this planet, but it is too cold for me as well. Um, <laughs> I'm stinky. I'm going to die now. <laughs> <laughs> so the rebellion... <laughs> the rebellion uh, was driven to Hoth. That's what we get in the opening crawl, right? So they're on this ice planet. They're hiding again. They're being led now by Luke Skywalker, um, which is funny to me. Like the, the well, he's le- like a commander. It says led by Luke Skywalker in the opening crawl. I mean, it's, it's word for word. He's, he's, <laughs> I'm sure General there Riker are can tell literally him to yellow tell words him. in space that say that Steve. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just saying there is a general, and that is higher than a commander. I'm glad you mentioned that because at one point. 
uh, random criminal criminals are just made generals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a la Han and well, then later Lando. Well, when General someone, Calrissian, we hey, don't understand. What they did at Yav and 4 was a big deal. So they got a really <laughs> hey, big promotion hey, as a result of that whole thing. You listen to what Lando did in the Battle of Tanab and you not and you're not you're going to promote him too. All right? yeah, they're big fans That's of true. my work in Tanab. Uh, so yeah, he's Luke Skywalker's there. He's being hunted by, hunted by Vader. Uh, there's probes. They're probing Hoth. They're probing the entire galaxy. The probes are dope. I remember, by the way, I played a video game. I think it was Nintendo 64. I think it was the Han Solo game. <clears throat> Do you guys recall Dark this? Empire? It was with you, Dash Rendar. You took control of Han Solo. It was it, you were never a, a Jedi, but there was a part of the game where you got to fly on Hoth and try to like. Oh yeah, you're thinking of Dark Empire that you play as Dash Rendar. Is it Dash Rendar? Who, who's basically like. Like if and, Han and, Solo was a ginger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the one where you get to like trip the AT-ATs and, yeah. or at and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is at at right? Yeah, AT-AT, at at same thing. There's a there's a right one, though. I did extensive research at one GIF, point. GIF. I just forgot. It, <laughs> yes. Both. Don't get Except me started on GIF, because apparently it is <laughs> GIF, and that's fucking mind-blowing. Um, so Luke's is, is he's riding the kangaroo, uh, which a tauntaun, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's important to know that, like, Mark Hamill looks distinctly different in this movie because he had a violent car accident right at right before the premiere of A New Hope. Uh, and he fractured his jaw and his nose. Um, and there has been a decades long rumor that the scene with the Wampa, not a Yeti, was written <laughs> to explain the difference in his facial look. I've heard heard that, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is. I want to be clear. That is not confirmed. Hamill's never really commented on it that I'm aware of. Um, but it would make sense if yeah, they kind of sure. like wrote that in to kind of help explain the yeah, scarring. Yeah, because they like put the scarring kind of near where his face was scarred. Yeah. Yeah. So he's attacked by this fucking Yeti uh, when he's out. Wampa. <laughs> when he's out looking. Phil knows what that's like. Han returns uh, <laughs> to the base. Uh, Chewie's all mad. He's there working on the fucking mm. Falcon. Um, he, there's like this cool tension between Han and Leia. She like looks at him when he comes back like... <laughs> Like the way you read that Tauntaun. I wish I was a Tauntaun. Oh, she was like, oh, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Stupid, sexy solo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he tells the general there that he's got to go pay Java. Like, I like hanging out with you guys. It's pretty cool, but I got <clears> shit <throat> to do. And the guy's like, I understand. I remember when I was wanted by a gangster. It's terrible. Living with a death mark is not an easy thing to I, live with. I, do you like, I like how he's like, ah, I get it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Is that how things work in the military? Like you can just walk up to the general like, mm -hmm. hey, I got to bounce and pay my debts. And the general's like, all right, well, that sucks, but okay. <laughs> Typically we don't allow that. But yeah. when you are yeah, wanted. They're, they're really like letting this guy who knows a lot about the, the base. inner workings of yeah. this very covert group just go. Yeah. Which is very strange to like. Don't get caught. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> it's like, who's to say like he's not going to get picked up by Vader on, on his way out and like tortured for information? Like, they're yeah. really like, I guess they can't keep them, but they're really just like letting him go with all this information. Yeah. There's a realistic version of this movie that's seven minutes long where he's like, are you sure, Han? And he's like, yeah, I really have to go do this. He's like, okay. And then when Han turns around, he's like, pew. <laughs> right. I can't let you leave. Right. And really, uh, if you think about it, so Empire Strikes Back, I think takes place canonically um, three, three years, three or four years after A New Hope. Um, really? So in A New Hope, it, when you watch the special editions, <clears throat> Jabba's like, hey, I want my money. And he's like, I'll get it to you, buddy. He's like, okay, well, I'm charging you 15% interest. Uh, so what do you think that interest is like in like three years? And Jabba's like, motherfucker never paid me my money. Right, right. Plus in, in, inflation. I'm going to have to hire bounty hunters to get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm angry. I was really I'm, nice to That's him. a really good I'm, Jabba impression. I'm, I'm really mad. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I let him step on my tail. Can you believe this motherfucker salacious <laughs> crumb? <laughs> <laughs> is that that's the guy's name salacious crumb yep. yeah that's a cool rap name that's his little, <laughs> for little uh, I, I think he's about to spit bars his little bird monkey man mm -hmm. that i like that hangs out with him yeah my name is crumb and i'm here to say <laughs> i'm gonna rap in a rapping way <laughs> <Nailed I'm> salacious <laughs> um <laughs> c3po tells han that no one knows where luke is and han's upset because he's trying to leave but he's like fuck that's my boy um and then the guys are like, hey, you can't go out there. It's too fucking cold, bro. It's cold as shit. Plus, the Tauntaun's going to freeze to death. And he's like, me and my Tauntaun will see you in hell. 
and I, I, rides I, off. I love, there's so many good little quips <clears throat> in this movie that I really, really appreciate. Um, I mean, there's when Han and Leia are having their little moment in the hallway where he's like, you're going to miss me. Come on, ha. Huh? And, you know, we've talked a long time how Harrison Ford in a lot of movies cannot be, um, he can't play a romantic interest. He comes off as creepy in a lot of movies when he's trying to be romantic. He's very pushy in this moment. He's just, he's very pushy in this moment, but I think he honestly does have very good chemistry with Carrie Fisher. Yeah. And he is charming. This is the most charming he is in a romantic way. He is pushy, but he's not like Deckard in Blade Runner where you're like, ew, get yeah. the fuck away, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a note about this moment where he's like, where she's like, I'd rather kiss a Wookiee. And he's like, I kind of range that. And did right. Han just like reveal that he's Chewie's pimp? <laughs> <laughs> For a price. I, I do owe Jabba. I let people lay with my Wookiee. Yeah. Some people like getting their arms pulled off like a gun dark. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this, when the, when the scene begins where um, they're talking to Han and Chewie outside by the Falcon, um, C-3PO and R2-D2 are arguing and C-3- they basically accidentally froze all of Princess Leia's wardrobe. <laughs> He's like, I told you to keep the heat on. And yeah. it's a fun little thing that they're arguing I didn't about. Even catch I that. really wish there's a scene of Leia going frozen. into her room like, motherfucker, <laughs> my panties are frozen. I could wear this thing for the whole ass movie. <laughs> yeah, I guess she doesn't change much during this film she changes once right she does when, the next when they one. go to yeah. i think they change i think she oh, changes no, no, no. twice yeah yeah twice twice yeah yeah <clears throat> so yeah han runs out to to find luke uh we cut to luke and luke's hanging upside down which he spends a lot of this movie upside down but later it's willingly and uh <laughs> and the yeti's over there eating the tauntaun uh he we get the full force pull of the saber which i think is the first time we've seen the force do anything like that yeah so i think this is the first time we've seen force pull or push Mm -hmm. actually um i remember as a kid my dad uh said like this moment was so huge when he saw it for the first time because he's like we didn't know the force could do that right because up to that point it it was was just like mind tricks and like Obi-Wan making fart noises to distract guards. So that was like, that was essentially like all they knew and, and like sensing, but like not like controlling the physical world. Yeah. It just seemed like a, an, an intuition right. power rather than uh, telekinesis. You right. Know? So it's like, oh shit. You know, I am cognizant of what a moment this was. Um, he cuts off the fucking arm of the Yeti, runs out. Wampa. Uh, and then... <laughs> Luckily, Han is nearby looking, right? Because he, he just falls over pretty soon. One of my favorite things about the odds of surviving are 725 to 1. But R2 has been known to make mistakes <laughs> <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I, one of my favorite trivia bits about Luke walking in the blizzard is so they're filming, they filmed a lot of the Haas scenes in Norway. Mm-hmm. And while they were filming, a really bad blizzard just took Grab place. the cameras. Yeah. So literally what they did is they couldn't go out of their hotel where all the crew and everything was staying because the blizzard was so bad. So what they did was they just opened up a door and were shooting out the door and was like, Mark, just walk around out there. Really? So he's literally just the whole crew is inside where it's warm filming at a door and Mark Campbell's like, ah, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> ben. <laughs> I yeah, love that. We get the first uh, of many Force Ghost Kenobis, I think, in this scene, right? Mm-hmm. You will go to the Dagobah system. I'm really cold. There, no, you will find Yoda, okay? Hold on, I'm talking. It's warm there. It's it's a little uh, it's humid. It's Give humid, it. it's sticky. It's the opposite of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's iguanas everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's the Jedi Master who instructed me. Which is not true. Well, in a way, Mm -mm. from a certain point of view. So Yoda does instruct all Jedi at a certain time. Usually it's when they're younglings. He teaches just like a normal class, like "Mm, do the thing where the probe droid shoots at you with your cybers. For obvious reasons, I teach kindergarten. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because I'm adorable. (laughs) (laughs) A a scamp I am. (laughs) (laughs) Time for chalky milk and naps. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my favorite <laughs> I, but yeah I, I love seeing Obi-Wan because yeah they didn't think uh, Alec Guinness would come back <laughs> for this role after the first one he also uh, they gave me 2% of profits yeah which I didn't think was a lot but well, now it is actually so for this movie specifically 
Uh, he had just had like eye surgery shortly before. So that was another reason why they didn't know if, if he would be able to come back because he just had eye surgery. But he did. He shot all of his stuff for this movie, even the Dagobah scenes, the Haas scene. He did it all in a day. He like it's the, it started at eight. His day started at 8 a.m. and ended at 1 p.m. And he just took half a percentage of the grossing. And that's still worth millions of dollars. <laughs> So we got millions of dollars for working That's amazing. five hours. That's amazing. <laughs> that is what a dream a right there. I know. Alec Guinness. I don't even fucking <clears throat> like these movies. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> but Alec needs those G's. <laughs> <laughs> I love cocaine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So he uh, gets the vision and it's cool because Han like shows up through the force ghost of Obi-Wan. Um, and then Han's fucking Tauntaun dies as predicted oh, from the cold. Know. Right away. It just dies instantly, too. It's uh, like, mm, I'm going to die right I here. am not fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Han is pretty. Remember me. It's one of, <laughs> I think it's one of what I would say there are the two <laughs> gnarliest scenes in Star Wars are the Tauntaun. It's like right up there. There's another one in Return that I actually think is pretty dark and is not talked about a lot. But he opens the belly of the Tauntaun and shoves Luke's body in there to mm -hmm. stay warm. While With he astounding like astounding speed. While he like builds um a shelter some kind of shelter i guess he's yeah. got like a tent yeah. yeah like a warm tent and also it's kind of cool because han uses the lightsaber which is one of the only time to see a non-jedi character wield a lightsaber yeah, yeah he's like kind of fun this is pretty easy yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and then like like they cut open and you get that shot of like the insides of it opening up and it's like they packed it with like shrimp or something so all like the raw <laughs> shrimps falling yeah. out yeah <laughs> so i thought this was really good us, yeah on the outside. Yeah. Is that Seinfeld in a Tauntaun? <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with these stinky snow beasts? <laughs> My Tauntaun died. It's clearly a Yeti. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we we cut to uh, the shippy ships. They're cruising Hoth. Shippy ships. Rogue 2. Uh, where's my buddy? And then uh, luckily, Han's like, I'm here. About time you showed Good up. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> nice of you guys to drop by. <laughs> I found him. I love that guy. Repeat, I found him. Poor Rogue <laughs> 2. <laughs> uh, and then Luke's like in a fucking healing tank. That's pretty neat. Back to tank. What, a back to tank? Mm -hmm. yep. Well, we get that a lot with... Uh, like um, what, uh, Boba, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah. He, he I low-key wish I could just like sit in that and just like be cured of things. They got one like, in Newport. It would just be like so nice <laughs> to just like, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's like flotation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. With all the salt. Maybe I'll go. But you, want, go you want the whole experience where you got like the mask on and you're doing the. Just bring, like, just bring that. And like then, when I messed up my knee, like I would just want to like soak in that for like a day mm -hmm. and then just like emerge from that tank and be like. I'm good now. That would be cool. Wear yeah. a big, wear a big diaper. Yeah. Like because, does. Yes. I feel like because of capitalism, like the, like big pharma, the healthcare system will never allow something like this to be invented. True. Mm. Cause they try they make so much money. for We could have back to tanks right now. Maybe but. if you filled the back to tank with opioids, they would be like all about it. Mm. <laughs> Take a dip in the fentanyl tank. <laughs> yeah. <that'd> be, <laughs> no. Ooh, oh, this no. is a great idea. <laughs> that would still be kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Am I healed? No, you're really high. Huh. I feel great <laughs> <laughs> for five minutes and I feel awful. He's still all fucked up from the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> That'll um, be $9 million. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's in the healing tank, the back to tank. Uh, and this is where we get one of the most iconic lines, I think, that you guys probably used throughout the 90s ad nauseum, I would imagine. The insult, scruffy looking nerf herder. You oh, yeah. stuck up, half witted, scruffy, scruffy looking, looking nerf, nerf herder. herder. What is a nerf Who's herder? Scruffy looking. A nerf is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, it's been a while, but it's like a space cow. <laughs> right? Ah. It, it's it, like, it's just like some like. So um, that was a classist. Grass insult. eating farmland <laughs> creature, a right? Insult. Right? Like, is she just making fun of farmers at this point? So this is a nerf. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's, it's like a, grass. It's, it's like it's a bison. Big, it's like a big yak. It's a it's a bison. There you go. Yeah. There. If you want to look at it on the video, and is that the nerf herder? That yes. is a nerf herder. But Han specifically oh, is a, a scruffy stuck, looking is a one. Stuck up, scruffy looking one. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I just love how Han's like, "Hey, who's scruffy looking?" Yeah. He doesn't take ish. He doesn't take issue with most of that, except for the scru except for that one part about <laughs> looking scruffy. <laughs> yeah. I, I look like, great. I, it's bullshit. 
I'm a stuck up handsome nerf. <laughs> And then to make him jealous because he's overconfident, she immediately deeply and passionately kisses who we later find out is her brother. Ew. And, and Luke's I, I, like, I love Luke's <laughs> like, ooh, yeah. yeah I, know, I know the ladies. <laughs> Not a big deal, Han. And Han is upset, right? <laughs> uh, at this point, they do see the probes that are flying around Hoth and uh, they go out and immediately alert them to their presence. Pew, pew, pew. And Han's like, pretty sure they know we're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so they immediately Better planned. Stop the evacuation. I didn't hit a head, did that hard. <laughs> yeah. Had, self -taught, had a self destruct. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, uh, made to bitch out that probe. And uh, so they plan to evacuate Hoth. And then we cut up to Vader and the gang. And the Empire dude tells Vader. And what do we hear when we cut to Darth Vader and the dude? The Imperial March, bah, baby. Bah, 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 the first bah, bah, bah. time. Is that the first time? Yeah. It's not in New Hope at all? Nope. It's Empire Strikes It's back. in my brain so much <laughs> that I was immediately just like, that's the noise it makes nope. when you Empire, go to Vader. Empire's when Imperial March starts. Interesting. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah, so the they tell him that they're on Hoth, and it's really funny because they're like, uh, the probe's got some uh, people on Hoth. Looks like Han Solo, but I don't think it's anything. We're going to ignore it. And Vader's like, no. <laughs> I think it's for real, Zeesh. Well, I Admiral, can tell. Admiral Oswald, the guy that's like, my lord, it could be smugglers or pirates. That guy? <laughs> the probe could have farted. It's, our machines suck. Okay. <laughs> I just, I want a day off. <laughs> can we just chill? My, my PTO activates in two hours. So. <laughs> but no, that dude plays uh, Hitler in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. <clears throat> he had a, oh, that's why I know him. He had yeah. a type. Oh. You're like, oh, Hitler. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> oh, hits. <laughs> That's right. Wow. <laughs> there's a really funny moment in the scene that Steve and I have joked about for years. <laughs> so there's a moment where where Vader like turns to Veers and when he turns, he's like two inches from his <laughs> yes, face. Yes, I did. I, I did. <laughs> and that. I don't know if they like intentionally blocked it that way or if that was just like a happy mistake. But it makes me laugh every time because like imagine like you turn and someone's like right here and you like give them orders. It's very funny, but. Hello. So it's, <laughs> yeah, and kudos. It's because of that. It's a theatrical thing. Yeah, like it's the cinematography in this yeah. movie. Like the effects are great, but some of the uh, some of the cinematography is kind of whack. Like it's just a camera on a tripod instead of doing anything interesting visually. Like there's no sauce to these movies. Sometimes, like <clears throat> the costume design is is incredible. Like we get the um, the fucking the emperor's people have like those red outfits. The Imperial which, Guard, yeah. Which guards, I yeah. think is what was played upon in The Last Jedi, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, that's awesome. And 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 it's just not capitalized on visually. You know, they just stick a tripod down and then they'll just have like smoke coming out as the Emperor's coming. You know, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's something very like, uh, like a, it's a stage play. It's like a Broadway thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and it just bothers me a little bit. But to your point, like to Julian Glover, who plays General Veers, to his credit, like that dude does not react to. He should have been like, whoa. He, he violently turns him to, he's like, Whoosh. yeah. And, that's a, and Darth Vader's face mask is very sharp and pointy. Yeah. So if he actually like just headbutted him, that yeah. would leave marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stinky breath. One of those moments. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, Pliet. Uh, what do you get, think Vader smells like? Does he have a scent? Lavender. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's actually that's the only thing he's got. So he's very vain about his smell. Yeah, probably you know? sure. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the perfume that uh, Gustav wears? A layer de panache. <laughs> layer de panache. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's overly <laughs> sprayed with layer de panache. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they go down the hoth. Chewie and Han are out. They're still working on the Falcon, which is has some kind of mechanical issues. Uh, Luke gearing up to. I guess evacuate because he's not <clears throat> going to Dagobah yet. He's planning on helping them evacuate because their whole plan uh, involves transporting people off of the base, running in a sneaky way through the blockade that is going to be there. Yeah. So they have a big ion cannon that will shoot in this, that will clear a path for the transports <clears throat> to leave. Yeah. So an ion cannon is just basically like an EMP blast, for, but we're Star Wars ships. It'll knock out their systems and make the ships um, unable to, fire move what have you right. so they can just sail right by them this is the second in the 11 second time in the 11 movies where we get a very important plot device uh around a blockade yeah yeah that's true where's my droid to cause <laughs> um <laughs> oh man when we get to that episode i'm gonna really be like oh, can <clears throat> we do the accent <laughs> 
I really want to, I, but I don't know if I can. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't think we can. Um, and then so they 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 prepare for a ground assault uh, up in the Empire because they, there's a shield around the planet. So they're, they 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 make a for plot. They can't just like shoot the planet, right? They have to right. Yeah, because Imperial Star Destroyers, or their main function is to bombard planets from, from space. From space, yeah. yeah, that's what they typically would do. They don't actually do that in a lot of, in any of the Star Wars movies, <laughs> yeah. but canonically, that's what they're supposed to be yeah. doing. Yeah, so that would be too effective. We can't have that, right? Yeah. Uh, and we well, because this movie would be done in like the first ten <laughs> minutes if there was no shield. Yeah, like, like <laughs> up there, they are shoot the em. entire rebellion's done. <laughs> and how point. shields work is also for reasons, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Vader force chokes the Admiral through the screen to death because he displeased him. We've exited out of light speed and we're preparing to. <laughs> Could Vader not have just like FaceTimed like Han, and, like <laughs> done that to him or like Luke? Like, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you wonder, like, does he need a line of sight? Is that like. Yeah, like. like it, I'm, getting a, player, I'm getting a call. Is, is it, it just because like he's like. There's no caller ID. I'm going to answer it. <laughs> is, is it because Ozzel's on the same like Wi-Fi as Vader at the time? And he's like able to reach through that. Like he can't go through like 5G to like. I'm now picturing Vader as like, cause he's an old man, you know? Yeah. With like the angle, like way too close up to his nose when he's talking. Where, where's, where, where's Ozzel? <laughs> oh shit. I've got the cat filter on. Also, I'm pretty sure Vader's like 40 years old too. Cause this is like 20 years after, or, or like 23, 23 years after yeah. the beginning of, um, or the end of return or Revenge of, of the Sith. R R Revenge of the Sith and, Sith. and like Anakin back then is what, like 20 25, yeah, 25, he's like, he's like yeah. 48. So he's something. like 40 to 45 years, years old at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny that the, the age, the ages are so funny. He seems them. super old though. Cause he's all fucked up, but he's like actually not super, super old. He just didn't take care of himself. Right. Well, we yeah. saw what you saw what 18 years in the desert did to Ewan McGregor. So. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. And Aunt Peru <laughs> and uncle Owen. True. <laughs> Holy fuck. Aunt Peru. What know, happened? I That's that blue milk. She has an affinity for I really get it for you. Uh, but Pliet gets promoted at this point. Um, and this I is love the whole time that Piet's getting like, cause Ozzel's choking the background and Piet's just like, and then the scene ends, you see him look at someone off screen. Like, can somebody, yeah. <laughs> can we get this cleaned up? Can the dudes whose whole job in this empire is to stand in the corner until someone inevitably gets choked out on this bridge. <laughs> yeah. Could over here and wheel this guy out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Leia at this point lays out <laughs> her plan, and then the the first transport gets out fine with the ion cannon. Yay! Yay! I love that. <laughs> first transport Port is away. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they spot the Imperial Walker, the Adat, mm -hmm. um, and good old Dak and Luke out Fucking there. Fucking <clears throat> Dak, man! You know Dak is dead the moment he opens his mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there has never been a guy that you know is for real dead more than Dak <laughs> as soon as you meet him. What even, about Dak? Even Luke Skywalker knows because Dak's like, I feel like I can take on the whole empire myself. And, and, <laughs> and Luke's looking at him like, sure, buddy. <laughs> also, they, they this like is my last day before retirement. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see a photo of my kids? <laughs> yeah. You never really get a good look at Dak's face, too. It, it, it's like we yeah. don't need to like do like an ECU on this guy because like it doesn't matter. He's dead. He's just a voice in the back of Luke's. I don't think I've ever even seen a expanding universe story on Dak, to be honest with you, because <laughs> he's the most like no generic guy that like dies. Yeah, even his helmet is just like, I don't know, blue and blue rebellion <laughs> signal. And that's it. We're like, yeah. why did they know. give me a red shirt? <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, uh, but yeah, they 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 realize that the. Um, armor is too strong for blasters on the on the ad at so luke has the idea to use the harpoons and tow cables uh that we have equipped to these things for when one of us breaks down i assume and we can, <laughs> we can you know towed, yeah. yeah hey uh i like those ships i love this set piece it's iconic like steve said it's one of his favorites i agree i have fond memories as a kid of flying in circles in whatever video game that was trying to mm -hmm. trip these things up it was really fun. Rogue, your rogue squadron Wait, was that called shadows of the empire or yeah. dark or dark empire? Uh, shadows of the empire dark empire was the one with kyle katarn okay sorry yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> no i i love this i in my notes literally the whole like hoth snow battle i just write like i love everything that's happening right now <laughs> <laughs> it's so good general veers is my favorite imperial officer like hands down as well so like just seeing him like he also like he's like one of the few that like 
is assigned a job and does the job and, fucking and like does it. doesn't mess it is up. Is that the guy like, in the Walker? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's pretty. He's pretty baller. Distance it, of power generators. <laughs> one seven doesn't. And like he eight. survives too, right? Like you never see yeah. him bite it. No, so. I mean this is the last time you ever see him. He does survive. Right. Um, I think canonically, I think canonically he is supposed to be like his walker gets blown up or something, and he like gets paralyzed, mm -hmm. and so he's in like a wheelchair in, in the comics. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not canon anymore, but that was the old comics. Okay, uh, but yeah, he's one of the best. He lived to a ripe old age. Him and Piet are like the two <clears throat> best Imperial officers. Yeah, that we see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine you're going to take that uniform when you get off, when you get home, Beers. <laughs> yeah, we don't like that very much. We don't like that very much. <laughs> now, the Imperial signal is a lot, it's it's really, is, is much more detailed than the swastika, so it's going to take a minute to scar this on your forehead. Hold still. <laughs> now you get to Carnegie Hall, don't you? Uh, Dak gets got. He dies, as we discussed. And, uh, but the, the tiny Vader hologram is so cute. I know. Oh, it's so cute. He doesn't even say anything. It's just and like, he, what? he What's that just man? like crosses his arms. Yeah, he's just like, I am. You know what to I, me. You know what I mean. <laughs> you look I, very cute down there, sir. <clears throat> I haven't figured out how to choke you through these yet. <laughs> uh, Veers, do you have me on the tiny projector? <laughs> <laughs> that's, he's, he's, that's his ending. What, what have I told you about putting me on the tiny <laughs> so projector? Does that mean like Veers is like massive and like looking down on him in that moment? I bet he's tiny on Vader's end too. Okay. You know? Okay. Gotcha. That's how I like to imagine. Sure. And sure. It's just tiny veers. Like, but you know, <laughs> you know, Vader has him on a tinier projector just to make him feel better. <laughs> yeah. He's this big. He's like this big. Yeah, He's yeah. like squinting to see him. <laughs> what if the projector came up and Vader was just on the toilet? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Like, well, that's the, what I feel like he's doing in that little were, bubble that he keeps closing himself. You ever in. accidentally answer a face FaceTime while you're shitting? You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never done that. No, never. Or on purpose because it's your buddy. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> actually, one time it's Pete, a power move. You guys got to try it. Pete answered a FaceTime with no shirt on, and that was about as close as I <laughs> got to a weird FaceTime call. Pete would do that. You yeah. guys need to be more experimental with your FaceTimes. I don't FaceTime. I don't FaceTime, <laughs> period. Really? My yeah. wife FaceTimes her mom like five times a day. And yeah. I'm like, I don't understand how anybody face FaceTimes for any length of time. Just yeah, I barely like being on the phone with people. So <laughs> like FaceTiming is just another layer of hell for me. That's true. Because <laughs> then I have to hold the phone like this. Yeah. I hate it. Steve's <laughs> one of those guys where you, you'll be like, what's up? Or can I talk to you for a second? And Steve will go, yeah, what's up? And then you'll call him and then he won't answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's it, it, like, it's, it's so true. It's implied that he was like, he's thinking that is not what I thought was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. not commit to that level <laughs> of communication. Right. That's so fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah. What's up? Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. fucking Andy will call me and I'll be like, text me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get it. That's fair. But I'm a, I'm a FaceTimer. I'm like, hey, it's what I'm doing. That's fair. Uh, sometimes it's what I'm doing is pooping. But I just think it would be funny if uh, the Darth Vader was pooping. Do you think he has to take like his whole fucking suit and apparatus off to do the pooping? Yeah. We never see Vader eat. So maybe it, he doesn't. He might not poop. Yeah. Do you think he's, well, is it like an astronaut thing where he's just pooping in his suit? Like, oh, the the, <laughs> the, the beeps and boops will take care of that. Yes. I think actually when he sits down in his egg, there's like a tube like in his chair that he like interfaces with and it just like removes all that. Like it like sucks it all out of his suit. <laughs> well, what? I, now what? I just got this idea of his meditation chamber opening and Piet's there, but you hear like a, the sound of a toilet flushing. <laughs> no, just a toilet flush. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What part of his body is organic then? Because uh, uh, his torso, his torso, one face. arm, I think so he right? does have like uh, uh, a colon yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he, his like he was just <clears throat> cut off at like the thighs or his legs. Right. But that was his injury. But like how much did they replace, though? Because uh, Kenobi says he's mostly machine now. Right. Well, so, like, I, well maybe that's they, true. I mean, maybe they least, just like kept his heart and like removed all the bits below and like. Well, at least in Revenge of the Sith, he has <sighs> the, the, he has meat there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if over the years they were like speaking of well, meat. I, I don't need this buttocks. <laughs> Leave me my dick. <laughs> I don't think you need it, Vader, Lord Vader. Oh, we already Leave it. We already took it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> saber dick. Um, Han and Chewie are trying to escape on the Falcon. We get the iconic. No, no, no. This one goes there. That one goes there. Yeah. Often parodied. What's funny is. Um, as they escape, like they take the hard, hard route where like every imp is like after them 
And like Luke and the transports and stuff just have like the easiest flight out of Hoth. Like oh, they're chased at all. Oh my God. It, there's, I wrote it down. There's a point where, so like Han, you're right. Han, Leia, C-3PO, all of them. Cause he tries to get her to a transport. The tunnel collapses. Yeah, so he's I'll like, take well, you on the Falcon, take yeah. you on the Falcon. So they go to the Falcon. They're chased by stormtroopers. They're <laughs> shooting at him with their, their hyperdrive turrets. doesn't work. Hyperdrive doesn't work. But then it cuts to like all the rebel pilots that just got done with a battle. And Wedge is like, they're see literally you, they're walking. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> but you're, get, get, see you next season for camp. I like, know <laughs> it's, it's like the most <laughs> jarring. Yeah. Wedge was in a new hope, right? He's one of those yes. fighters yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Death Star. So we get to see Wedge again. You and McGregor's uncle. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dennis Lawson, I think, is the actor's name. So they trip the walker. I have a question, guy. And again, you told me not to think this way, but I can't. I think fuck, I know what you're going to say because I have the same note that the blasters do work when the adat's laying down. I don't know. That's <laughs> never. That's never made sense. That's never made sense to me at all. Okay. But yes, I, I I have that same note. Well, like, shot there the is <laughs> an insta kill button when it's like. If you catch doggy style sleeping. on the snow, <laughs> yeah. but when they're up in the air, it's like now. You get it. You That's get an ATAT face down, ass up, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just it's just gonna self destruct at a pure embarrassment. Maybe yeah. maybe it, it she uh, destroyed like the shield generator that's on its chin. You know who knows? Yeah, maybe yeah yeah maybe I don't know. Uh, but then yeah, Leia says that they need to launch two transports at once. Uh, which is too risky, but they're running out of time completely. Han's still, we, we talked about this all already accidentally, but Han's still working with Chewie on the ship. Um, and they're about to get the, the main shield <clears throat> generator, which they do destroy. That's uh, General Veer's. Um, Luke goes down, <laughs> right, almost, right gets, almost gets squished by the uh, ad, ad which is a really harrowing. Is he like trying, he's trying to save Dak, right? Who's already dead. He's trying to get the grappling hook, which he uses Oh, he's like, to, here, fuck Dak. Dak, yeah, yeah, Dak is done. <laughs> yeah, like, Dak, like he knows like Dak is not coming back at this point. Like, <laughs> Secretly, Luke's like, yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but God, thank God that guy's gone. <laughs> I hated him. Who whispers at his dead body? <laughs> fuck you, Dak. <laughs> <laughs> You're no R2. <laughs> Rest in hell, Dak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get the, the grappling turret from the back so we can... Uh, go up and throw the grenade up in the the belly of the one eighteen. And when he swings, it like somehow magically like uncovers the hatch like way behind him. Yeah, like, it's not well <laughs> core core choreographed in that moment. But. Mm -hmm. there, there's so there's one funny part when when Veers takes out the the uh, the shield generator that whatever he's yeah the shield generator yeah because they have this shot right before they launch the at at kind of like does like a little move but before it shoots the the generator it just just zaps one fucking dude yeah, on the crowd. Yeah, like, yes. Fuck this guy in particular <laughs> yes. before we do this thing. I, we don't have to do this, yeah. but we felt yeah. it necessary to Dax, kill this that was guy. Dax brother, Rack. Let's get Dick. <laughs> Dick. Rack. Dick and Dak. Dick and Dak. <laughs> Dick, yeah. Dak, and Rack. Yeah, Dick, Dak, and Rack. The three brothers. It's like uh, Private Ryan, his whole family. <laughs> <laughs> like there's another movie somewhere where they have to go save Dak's fifth younger brother. That's the last <laughs> remaining. We got to get dip. That's the last <laughs> <laughs> and it's Matt Damon. Dick Whoa. Dak. There's a scene where the, where the rebels go to their mom Dap and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're so sorry, man. <laughs> we are creating so much lore, so much pointless lore about this guy that doesn't last more than hey, a minute on hey, screen. Hey, it's been how many years? 40 years? That's true. True. It's Ju time. Justice for Dak. Yes. yes. Dick. <laughs> Rack. And dap. And dip. <laughs> Duck. Dive. <laughs> and dip and dive. <laughs> You can dack a wrench. You can oh, dack a ball. Fuck. Um, you, you know what that uh, Dak's favorite ice cream is? <laughs> what? Dip and dots. <laughs> I knew you were going to say what? It. the ice cream of the future. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was sponsored by Better Help. Folks, it's 2024. What does everybody do in the new year? They make resolutions. They set goals. How about we don't do that? I mean, you can. It's obviously nice to have goals, but it's also a good exercise to focus on things that you like about yourself. You know, not making all those high pressure goals that you might fail at and just feel worse. You can set smaller goals. And I think therapy can be a good way to access things that you enjoy about your life and focusing on the positive, the gratitude. And BetterHelp is a good way to do that. If you've never given BetterHelp a try, it's therapy that's entirely online. You can do it all from your home and access a therapist by filling out a questionnaire. And if you end up not liking that therapist, 
you can switch. Again, along with the theme of this ad, uh, no pressure whatsoever. They're not going to have their feelings hurt by it. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit BetterHelp.com slash streaming things today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash streaming things. It's the month of February, so you know what time it is. It's time to thank our patrons. Every single one of you that helps keep the lights on at Streaming Things, thank you so much. But we want to give a special shout out to our super patrons, and here they are. Thank you to Stanton Valentino, Maddlestat, Bryce Coppin, Susie Callahan, Anthony Corona, Sunshine, Huckleberry Cauliflower, Ashley Hazen, Mike from New Hampshire, Brett X, Emily Scarano, Will Tickler, Svento Seven, Jay Scramo, Bloff Pump, aka Ashley Ray, Wendy O'Laughlin, Jason Hawkins, Big Butthorn, Conrad, Kaylee Sampson, Rabbit Dog in a Barbie Car, Charlie Friday, Alexis Adler, Peaches, Emmy, Haley B, Joe Velez, Michelle, John Collins, Amber McVeigh, Amanda King, Trisha Bueller, Sun Loving, Mortal, Suzanne Road, Lauren Waller, Jen Robinson, Kalisha uh, Reeves, Aaron Armstrong, Kevin Strahler, Ashley Powers, Stephen um, the Fifth, Casey <laughs> McCain, and of course, <laughs> ends up. And with that, up into let's the get back to the show. Up, uh, while they're blowing up the main generator, um, and then Han takes Leia on the Falcon, Vader shows up. <laughs> Fuck, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I didn't have to poop. <laughs> They get to the Falcon. It won't start at first. And then it takes off just in time. I wish it had done now what happens like in the TV shows. I think it's the TV show. Uh, but where like if Vader had just been like and, yeah. and stop the yeah, Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, you guys would all yeah. shit your pants. I, yeah. I, I kind of hate it when they do that in the TV shows. <laughs> yeah. Why? I, the way they do it's never gone well. Are you talking about the Obi-Wan specific situation? Is that the show that happened? I thought it was awesome. Yeah, where he grabbed a ship. And, and like brought it to the ground. And, and then, then it took off again. Actually, we're in, a, we're in a different ship. And he's like, oh, shit. Well, I spent all my mana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired now. But that, but that act is cool uh, for sure. Because they could do it because Yoda lifts the X-Wing. So yeah, it's possible. But, but Yoda also is like, mm, I got it. It's not like, Ooh, gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. Yoda's 900, though. Sure. But and, and when he was 600, oh, he would have done it like he that. He was bench pressing <laughs> at, at his peak. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and then it, uh, we cut to the Luke and his X-Wing with R2. R2's like, oh, we better rendezvous with them, we can assume. And Luke's like, no, we're going to the Dagobah system. And then I think it's implied that R2 was going to like <clears throat> not follow Luke's orders on that. Because he Luke is like, beep, 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 beep. And Luke goes... Uh, no, that's okay. I'm going to keep it on manual pilot. And <laughs> I think uh, I just assumed that like R2 was like, do you want me to like drive us there? Like I can do that. You can take some. Well, the smirk on Luke's face implies that he doesn't trust R2 to let him go to Dagobah. That's so funny. I never thought of it le- that way before, but I can see how you get there. Really? Yeah. I've never thought of that, <clears throat> but I, I like the idea of Luke. Like I don't trust this blue little <laughs> psychopath. Well, I mean, I think Luke's like aware that like what he's doing is weird and only because he can talk to force ghosts. Right. Like randomly yeah. go to this like little swamp planet. Beep boop. Oh, you talk to oh, dirty old bed again. Sure, buddy. <laughs> What if Beep Luke boop. had just gotten over like a cocaine and hookers habit and R2's like doesn't trust his junkie buddy? We're going to the Dagobah system real quick. And he's you, like, uh, do you want uh, me to drive us? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you thought that was snow on Hoth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dagobah. <laughs> <laughs> ben. <laughs> he, none of this is real. He's just, he's just hallucinating. You're tripping balls. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that moment of later in the tree where he, where he sees a fader is like him, like really going hard on the sauce. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, Vader don't give a fuck about asteroids is my next note. No, he don't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. Cause Han goes into an asteroid, which is a really cool thing that I think was copied a lot in a lot of other sci-fi movies for like space chases, like dip into the asteroid belt to hide, but it's basically suicide. Uh, and I love the music in the, uh, yeah, asteroid really chase good. scene. Mm-hmm. Really it's, it's some of my favorite John Williams score. Dun, 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 dun. Like, oh, I love it. Especially with, uh, I think, I think it works really well. Uh, 
like they overuse it maybe, but I really like 3PO's like anxiety and Han, <gasps> Han wanting to shut him up because he's actually not helping. Yeah. Uh, and eventually Leia turning him off. Like that <clears> whole <throat> thing is really well done. But this is maybe the best C3PO. This is my favorite C3PO. The odds of at all navigating an asteroid belt are 3,720 to one. Can I just point out right before they get to the belt, um, Han and Chewie are both off the bridge. They're down in like the guts of the ship. Oh, yeah. While they're being it. shot at by TIE fighters. Four TIE fighters cannot destroy the ship Who's driving while it? there's no one driving it. It's well, presumably it's just Leia. flying straight. But when, but like, when did she ever learn how to fly the ship? She's a, she's force, she's a force it's user. Princess fucking Leia. I mean, I'm not saying she can't. She's it's, a Mary Sue. It is just like up to that point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Total Mary Sue. But like, Fuck. it just didn't look like she was flying the ship at that point. And she wasn't even in the cockpit. You're right. Well, she was sitting in the back row. I thought she was. She gets up. She was in the front back. seat. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, uh, maybe I'm completely There's wrong. There's multiple that, instances where they're being attacked imminently and they both go run downstairs. Even still like. And the it's fact, highly upsetting. The fact that four TIE fighters cannot hit this massive flat ship. Falcon. In clear space is well, crazy. So what I think you're 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 not looking at is that this is the ship that did the Kessel run in 12th. Oh, that's true. Well, the hyperdrive right. motivator has been damaged is what's upsetting. Right. And plus, it might be the Hydra spanner. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my note is who is flying the fucking ship? Yes. And then uh, and, and if anything, it's a blocking issue. It's, you know, where it's not visually like. Yeah, as well executed as it could yeah, be. Yeah, the, the blocking isn't. Yeah, because they could make it a point that like just <clears throat> one little scene of Leia like, yeah, ooh, ah, just something. doing that. Yeah. yeah, just her panicking and steering. It's um, not or see through like, 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 like let me drive. Yeah, <laughs> it's not super clear like what is going on in the cockpit while they're both down fixing the ship. I am fluent in six million different ways of freaking out. I'm sure I'm sure some someone's going to get in the comments and be like, uh, actually, it's L3, the robot that was integrated into the Falcon at the end of the solo movie. Oh, she is true. sentient and taking Sorry. control of the ship. Obviously, you guys are morons. Mm. <laughs> yes, because I bring up retconning as often as I can. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Uh, so he, Han flies inside an asteroid. That's his like last ditch effort. Ballsy idea. Uh, meanwhile, Luke is, gets to Dagobah, crash lands into the swamp water. <laughs> I'm not I'm sure it'll be fine for, for that. I'm sure it'll be safe for droids. <laughs> <laughs> Smash cut to storms. Yeah. Uh, and Wait, is there a reason for what you asked a question? That he crashes the storm? Oh, he just, yeah, he can't, the instruments are down. He can't see where he's going. It's foggy. It's foggy. Uh, he didn't use the force. No, he, he could have used the force. Yeah. That would be a really, if, if there was ever a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe this right here. <laughs> uh, something is in the water with R2. And uh, it ends up chucking him out, which is, re <laughs> which is really funny. And R2 remains so dirty the rest of this episode. Too. Yeah. Who's like, going to take the time to clean uh, the, the robot? No. Nope. Yeah. And why? Why would you? I mean, Luke like scoops some gunk out of his like optical part. And he and, like, shoots it out too. He's yeah. Like, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, I love, but that. Here's I the love that R2 there. He just did. <laughs> the thing about R2's design is that it's pretty terrible for most terrain. Yeah, like you, uh, at some point, random points, he has jetpacks, which is useful. But like his, too, his yeah. little wheels on a place like Dagobah, Dagobah. Yeah. Not, well, I mean, he's, he's, he's done Tatooine. He's yeah. done Dagobah. He's, he's, he's got three wheel off. drive, baby. <laughs> 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 I mean, but it's like trees and stuff, you know, yeah. Yeah. there's certain parts of the movie where he'll just like fall over and <laughs> people will have to put pick him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, eh, what a cute guy, though. Uh, but yeah, so not looking good on Dagobah either. Uh this is the scene where uh, Captain, well, Admiral, excuse me, he got promoted. Admiral did recently Piet get promoted. Walks in on Darth Vader, and I, 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 it never occurred. Oh. It never occurred to me, but like, so he walks in and he sees like the helmet being put on Darth Vader. We get a little glimpse into his gross little ball sack head, uh -huh. and I, all I wrote was like, "It's kind of rude, Piet. You walk in and this guy getting dressed. I told and you to knock." I think like, Vader like subconsciously wanted him to see it because mm -hmm. why would it Power move. like why would he have the egg open at that point? Because like at uh, the end of that scene, the egg closed closes again. So like I would have just assumed like that's just like Vader trying to do a thing. Like I want you to see how how scary I look from behind. I'm going to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I jerk off in this thing. Liet. I think of Padme. <laughs> I cry while doing it. Does he breathe harder? You think? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. But he does it. He can <laughs> do it with crazy. the force. <laughs> This is, the sh- this is the show that Spotify I'm, wanted to take off the internet. Yeah, right. I'm forced. <laughs> I'm forced choking the chicken. <laughs> God damn. I can do it over FaceTime. <laughs> oh, what? Man. He could do that. I, he he actually could, yeah. Like yeah. Admiral Plea Pl- Pl- could be like, are you jerking me off <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> what would it be what, what would you think if I was <laughs> good um, never thought of this before <laughs> oh. oh no I have so yeah things are not going but Vader's like fuck the asteroids get them uh, I can do, repel them with my mind and uh, but the asteroid is not entirely stable. Uh oh, what's going on? Are they inside a creature, not an asteroid? Uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> but then he like, there's a really cool scene. I do like the dynamic that they have with Leia and Han, like you said earlier, like where he holds her to protect her, but then he chooses to keep holding her. You know, against he's, her will, she's like, "Let go of me," and he's well, like, "No." <laughs> you know, don't get excited, sweetheart. Yeah, I'd rather be spooned by the Wookiee or whatever. No, that was earlier. I forget yeah. what she says here, but it's it's funny. Um, but yeah, Luke, Luke went to get his stuff out of the ship. It's like comics and stuff. I, like, <laughs> I got my Vienna sausages. I got my little T-16 My toy. Flash Gordon comics. Side note, Luke's food here always looked so good to me. And I don't know why. Is it like a taquito? I think it's just like rations, but it like, it looks dry like a cookie. Oh, but I thought they were like fish sticks. It looked to me like a microwave taquito, which are fire. If you put some hot sauce on them. Wow. We all got a different but Yoda doesn't from like. like them. And what the whole time he's like, there's something familiar about this place. <clears throat> uh, what is that? Is it because he's been dreaming of it? Is yeah. it be- like, okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got it. Uh, the Yoda shows up who hasn't identified him as himself as Yoda yet, and he's. <laughs> He's so goofy I in this fucking, first scene. I love goofy ass Yoda. I wish <laughs> more of Yoda was this. He always. starts like this is like snacks, really the only time with his he's flashlight. ever goofy too. Like the rest yeah. of the movies, he's like very serious. Well, except for like that well, he one moment in two. randomly into this wise man in yeah. this movie. But prior to this, he seems like this <clears throat> goofy puppet. Yeah. Uh, Did you do him again? <laughs> yes. Yes. Good food. Good food. Come. How do you get so big eating food of this guy? But I, I love, I love when so he much. climbs up and it's just like he's tossing got, stuff he's out. He's got his little booty in the air and he's like yeah. getting a flashlight. Like, get I, a little flashlight. I think, it's a, <laughs> I think it's a flashlight. And that's why he's like. <laughs> 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 Main party to you. Party we will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scene where uh, R2 tries to take the flashlight back from him. Like, <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Oh, I love it so yeah. much. It's so it's goofy. <laughs> But then he says he'll take them to Yoda. Uh, Yoda. We, you seek Yoda. Mm, that is me. <laughs> me, that is. <laughs> uh, I, I like the uh, to imagine that none of his people speak like that. It's just him. Uh, yes, that's a hundred. Uh, yeah. That, oh, really? That's rec- a thing. Recently. Well, may, I don't know if it's all of his people, but, you know, you're we all know Yaddle, right? Yeah. Yaddle. The female Yoda in mm-hmm. Phantom Menace. Yeah. Well, recently there was a series on Disney Plus called Tales of the Jedi, where they kind of they kind of dipped into the background of certain characters, like two different characters. So they did a couple episodes on Ahsoka Tano and they did a couple episodes on Count Dooku. And there's an, an epic you know, Yaddle is a big part character in that story. And Yaddle, who's in, who's voiced by Bryce Dallas Howard in that show, just talks like a normal ass fucking person. So that just means Yoda's this <clears> little <throat> weird fucking creep that's just just, a weird dude. I'm going to talk weird. I will just to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Too many quaaludes I took. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. We cut back to Han and Leia are flirting more. Uh, he's basically like, you need a dirty man. <laughs> You need a scoundrel. Somebody who's going to eat ass. You like bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I like bad boys. And, but she's kind of, <laughs> she's like, kind of. Um, I mean, I guess. But then <laughs> they kiss passionately, but then C-3PO cock blocks. Yeah. And Vader, I mean, Vader. And Han almost turns into Vader. He's yeah. so angry. <laughs> Han is very Thank upset. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, we cut to Vader. C-3PO is just so proud of himself, too. He's like, <laughs> I did a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> Vader knows that they're alive on the asteroid. He can sense that they're there somewhere. But he first thing he needs to talk to Papa Sidious. Uh, and as soon as he talks to Darth Sidious, he gets so biblical. Like out of no, he's like, what a, is thy bidding? Yeah, he's, he's so normal. And then it's suddenly he's like, disaster. Skywalker, Walker we're after. <laughs> but if he could be turned to the dark side, yes, he'd, he'd be a powerful ally. ally. Another, Another dark Jedi. Jedi. He, he would join us or die. We got Death, Death Star. Star. We got Death Star. Okay, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> was that salacious scum? That was a, uh, that was a weird, like flash yeah. animation gangster rap from 2001 or whatever mm. that made the rounds on the internet back on e-bombs world and all that yeah <laughs> you guys yeah. just did a thing yeah out of nowhere it's great yeah. great delete that uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah I, I will do thy bidding and then there's a disturbance in the force this boy is the offspring of anakin skywalker they're really leaning into like everybody talks about anakin in the third person as a separate entity um the son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. Tend. So you saw the Disney Plus version, right? I did. So Ian McDermott is the one you saw. <clears throat> yes. As the Emperor. Okay. Because yeah. in the original, it's not Ian McDermott. It's, yeah, it's a, a completely, completely other dude. Actor. What? Yeah. Well, because they didn't have like him locked down for the third film. Because the third film is the first time you like see him in person. Mm -hmm. So they like recast him for the third film. Like yeah, in this um, film, he's just on screen. He's in the hologram. Yeah, and he's yeah. just like another guy. Really? Yeah. I yeah, was going to say, I, Ian McDermott is probably my favorite performance of all these movies. Oh, yeah. Hands down. I love him so much. Uh, I, I can't. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Who was cast as Darth Sidious and originally? I thought I had it written down. But um, anyway. So, Carl. Was it Dak? But, but it was this dude. <laughs> the, 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 the emperor in the original take of Empire Strikes Back was much more... Um, regal sounding he was just i mean he had the cloak more british he looked older and he's like he literally sounded like the son of skywalker cannot be made really? a jedi can it be done this like, is like this is what he looked like here it's a very small small picture but it, it's not like oh yeah th the same actor but like he's not doing like a voice like this like he's yeah. like doing just like a normal yeah scary yeah. dude voice like a uh, uh, and when they royal family yeah. Like a Prince William is how he originally sounded. <laughs> that boy can't rise above his station. I don't remember him like having an especially like no, he's very, English lean. Well, he's English, but it's very straightforward and like, can it be done? Like that's yeah. literally the inflection he's doing. <clears throat> but and, and, he, and Ian McDermott, when he was cast in Return of the Jedi, they fully intended on ADRing him with that guy. And Ian McDermott was just going to be the physical manifestation, similar to what they do with Darth Vader. Yeah. Um, but Ian McDermott's like, I can fucking do something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I like, can do something way fucking cooler than that. And so he started doing that voice. And Steven Spielberg was a little involved uh, with Return of the Jedi at the time. And apparently George Lucas and Steven Spielberg were like, that fucking guy, Ian McDermott gets it. Mm. Which is, yeah, because Ian McDermott's performance of Emperor Palpatine is one of the best <clears throat> things about Star Wars. It's wonderful. Period. Just he's so good at that guttural sounding, that like cackling he does. Like, get it, be that. Like, oh, love him so. He much. sounds truly like evil. an evil guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I I know that the easy lame answer to this question is canonically this rule had not been invented yet. But I want to see what you guys do. What kind of mental gymnastics you can? Or no, actually, I think I've got my own answer. Never mind. Well, what is the pose question? the question. Well, don't blue ball us the on fact a scenario. They like, want, no, let's move on. They want to <laughs> rope Luke into the <clears throat> Sith, which mm -hmm. have, they, have they even called them the Sith at any point? I don't think the, the Sith is, is established yet. Yeah, it's just the dark side right. of the force. They want to rope Luke in, but we know, all of us know, because we're smart, always two there are. Right. And so, the, but then I thought, oh, he kind of wanted to kill Vader and just supplant him with yeah. Luke. And so that's how that works. Yeah. Palpatine does want to kill Vader, supplant him with Luke. Vader also wants to maybe team up with Luke to take out the Emperor. Yeah. Which we don't know until the next film, but. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's the, that's the mental gymnastics. But they're pretending right now, we're all three going to hang out. It's going to be like the, the <laughs> trifecta, baby. The axis of evil. We got this. <laughs> Do you ever wonder, Vader? <laughs> <laughs> There's never any chicks around. Do you think that's us? <laughs> no. 
bunch of incels. <laughs> yeah. I, f- I feel like all of <laughs> the two of us smell really bad. <laughs> Actually, no, it's they don't like us because we're not woke. It is proven <laughs> <laughs> that Palpatine does fuck yes. because Ray is his recently granddaughter, right? Is that the so yes, yes. Ray <laughs> is his grandfather, but I don't his granddaughter. <laughs> I, gra- yeah, sorry, not his grandfather. <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, I actually, so when you said that last week, Kit, that it, that Palpatine canonically fucks. And I Ian McDermott had said that in an interview last week. I didn't week. correct you, but in an official Star Wars book on Rise of Skywalker, and this, and this is one of the things I hate about Rise of Skywalker because you have to go to books to fucking know what that movie even means. Um, her, Ray's father is a clone of Palpatine, not the prodigy of Palpatine. I was telling you. What? That Ian McDermott said in an interview, yes, Palpatine has sex. Well, it's I'm, something that I'm not trying to think about, but like that's what everybody was saying. Yeah. Well, if you're if you're talking about like, is he the direct parentage of Ray through cloning? Yes. DNA wise. But I'm sure Palpatine does fuck. Yeah. On the side. Those dudes with the hats in Return of the Jedi that he's just hanging out with. Oh, yeah. he fucks them. <laughs> Come here, butt boys. <laughs> <laughs> Tag or bank. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yes. We get to Yoda's tiny hut, uh, and it's kind of cool seeing Luke like it's kind of like Gandalf in the in the Hobbit hole. Um, but first, before he talks about anything, you know, go dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Luke Root doesn't leaf. like his food. Root leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Luke takes a sip and he's like, "This sucks. I want my taquitos." And then, do, do you think Yoda does HelloFresh? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I got the three meals this week. Um, <laughs> Yoda talks shit with Kenobi, and I guess Luke can't hear most of it. Is that the Luke can hear? Oh, he's just like, hey, <laughs> yeah. Because at one point, he, Ben, tell him I'm ready. Like him, I don't. You know, <laughs> he's just talking hella shit. I, I love how Yoda goes from like, <laughs> like this fun little dude, like, you will be like, yeah. the most <laughs> sinister sounding Isn't puppet. That, what what movie were we watching where that was the quote? That was the iconic quote. What you will be? Are you afraid? You're not afraid, but you will be. That's like a famous. Oh no! Yeah, we um, watched it. Don't recently. be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, is that that's what from it is? the fly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of close to Star good Wars. movie. Yeah, <laughs> great movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. Um, Any hoozle. We were in the hut. They're eating <clears throat> snacks. He's talking hella shit about Luke, where he can hear apparently to Kenobi. Um, and my note is Yoda didn't teach Kenobi. Damn it! Because in that he's like, you taught me quite well. Uh, <laughs> Qui-Gon didn't exist yet. Um, <laughs> much anger in him, like his father. Um, and then we talk about how how he's 800 years old. He's 900 is what we find out <clears> in, in the next yeah. movie. So for 100 years, he didn't train Jedi. That's what I... <laughs> yeah, no, no, right, right. That's what right. I can understand. Makes sense, yeah. No, 100 say- years it took me to get my bachelor's. <laughs> 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 it's sentence structure it was, I believe. <laughs> Hard the test was. <laughs> Still paying off my student loans, I am. <laughs> um, but he tells Luke, like, you're, you know, it's actually really touching. You know, you, like, basically you never live in the moment, you know? Um and I, I teared up a little bit as somebody who deals with anxiety and around similar things. I, I just think it's an effective, especially delivered by Frank Oz in that way, you know, adventure, the future, mm. you know, excitement. Yeah. Mm. A Jedi craves not these things. A, dr- a Jedi craves not these things. I'm not afraid. <clears throat> you will be. You will be. It's so funny to me. I don't want to shit on this. I'm sorry, but it's like Mark Hamill is a fucking great actor. An mm-hmm. iconic voice actor. I mean, yeah. incredible. Yeah, he is. He is. You can see none of that in these movies. And I blame Lucas, but I, I don't think that's true. I think he has his moments in a few scenes, but you're right. He plays it pretty safe in these ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just wish he would do I think his this, thing. This, yeah. It's just more about what the character is. Yeah. The, Luke Skywalker as a character in these movies isn't supposed to be like. You're supposed to be able to put Dynamic, yourself. You're, you're right, supposed to be able to put yourself there. He's yeah. not the Joker in these movies. Luke is a blank <laughs> canvas, you know. Yeah. <laughs> For whoever wants to be on an adventure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then the hater ass Empire is bombing the asteroid in the next scene, uh, and then like the sucker <clears throat> jumps on the windshield and Lina. scares Leia. Uh, we don't know that yet, guys. Oh, sorry. And then <laughs> they go outside. Ah, a Minoc, and I love how it's delivered as because it's this world building, right? Yeah, but sure. It's Han. The way it's shot is the Han is just like, ah, Minox. I thought so. And I 
I was like, yeah, me too. Make sure, they're not, <laughs> make, make sure they're not chewing on the power. We cables. were all thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely more. They're, they're everywhere. And it's at that moment when they accidentally shoot the ground that Han realizes they're in the belly of a beast. I think or he gets a sense like, Space oh, shit. Up. But he doesn't say anything. He runs into the Falcon without Leia. Did you notice that? No, I didn't. She's standing there at the ramp and he runs past her inside when it's dangerous. I think that's funny. Does I mean, that say she's something got about brain. His she can run up that. Plank. Does that mean he respects her as a strong, independent yes. woman? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He knows she's not fine. dumb enough to stay out in that space lug. Also, how is her atmosphere? All the women thing? independent. Well, they have masks on. Yeah, but there's no. But they're in the vacuum of space. Well, not uh, no. They're in a tummy. Actually, Leia can <laughs> go into space, as we found, <laughs> yeah. found out yes. years. Yeah. Leia can float in space. Yeah. Fine. Mary Sue, I told <laughs> you. There you go. <laughs> I like that scene. I hated it at the time, but like, I understand Carrie Fisher had just died yeah. and they wanted to do something like epic. We'll talk about that yeah, when yeah, we get yeah, to yeah, Last yeah, Jedi, yeah, but yeah. you're right that they're, they, they can breathe, but they should be like their blood vessels they should, should be, be exploding. Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's atmosphere in the belly. Steve's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so they, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> shit. But they, they realized they were in this fucking thing's mouth the whole time. Uh, which is, it's like a Sarlacc like creature, but that lives on an asteroid. The that's cave's no cave. collapsing. You know, <laughs> that's no cave. Because caves collapse like this <laughs> with, with teeth. teeth. <laughs> Zoologically, what the fuck is this thing? It's you a know, space worm. It's a space slug. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love how like I love how so many of these like beasts have these like cool names and then this and then this one's like space slug. It is literally oh, called a space slug. Right? It, it's I, called, I think so, called yeah. a space slug huh. or a space space worm. I mean that's what it is. It's like got like the least creative name of of like any unique creature in It's called Shia Le Halud. Um, <laughs> so oh, sorry, it does have a real name. Oh. The Exogorth. Oh, oh god. Okay, well, I just lost my Star Wars badge. Yeah, give it fandom. Now, sorry. I will say the photo for the Exogorth on w Wikipedia is hilarious because it just looks like a model somebody made and it's just like, just <laughs> yeah. that's yeah, pretty that's sweet. Pr pretty much how it looks. I though. like that. But somebody definitely 3D printed that. That's dope. And took a photo for the Wikipedia. That's like probably the model they used. Mm. <laughs> what if the Wikipedia was written in Wookie? That'd be great. <laughs> you sound like um, Bobcat Goldthwait. Our Police Academy 4 coverage. Uh, but the next scene is the famous Luke training sequence. Uh, and I, I paused this to get a sandwich. And for the rest of this movie, I was cursed with... I can be your backpack while you run. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing around my head because I fucking love that song. Yep, that's a good one. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, he is his backpack. Um, Dark side, not stronger. Quicker, easier, more, more seductive. And then he that's kissed a him really on the neck. good impression. I've been hanging out with Steve a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it, every time he says the dark side is more seductive, I really just want to go like, on, <laughs> on the back of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> more seductive. <laughs> <laughs> just puts his tongue in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> like that, do you? <laughs> Luke asks, how will I know the dark from the good? Which is just more of a philosophical question. He doesn't really get a great answer there. And then Luke, <laughs> Luke, Luke finds an evil tree. Uh, and uh, it's just like this place on Dagobah where, where, <laughs> where the frame rate dips to 10 frames <laughs> per second. <Yeah>. Yoda's like, hmm. <laughs> Go in there. I don't, <laughs> but you should. And so I, I love this part because like, he's like, you're like, you don't need w weapons. And Luke's like, I don't care. And he like straps on his belt. But to be fair to Luke in every scene past this point, there's a fucking huge snake in the foreground of every <laughs> shot. Like I get why he'd want to bring protection. Cause there's so many snakes <laughs> yeah. in this tree or and in, in this this forest situation. It's funny because he chooses not to have his lightsaber when he actually needs it from here on out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he goes in and this is like the scene that was echoed with like, I hate to bring up the, the sequel so much that everybody hates, but I've like seen them more. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, this was the scene in the sequels where Ray has that, the mirror vision yeah. that's awesome. And then like communicates with uh, Kylo is like an echo of this, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. 
there are certain places that have like these wells of the force, like the dark side energy. Oh, really? Yeah. That's actually, uh, I think one of the reasons why like, Yoda decided to hide on Dagobah is because Dagobah as a planet has a lot of force. I think maybe dark side energy to yeah. it. So it would mask his light side <clears throat> energy if they were looking, like if Darth Vader and the Emperor were looking for Yoda specifically. If they were force scanning. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, interesting. So yeah, he goes in there and he has like this really cool vision of killing Vader, but then it's him inside the mask, you know? Ooh. And I have this note. Has he ever even seen Vader? Luke? Yeah. Cause he saw oh. Vader fighting Obi-Wan ah, that's on right. the Death Star. That's where. No. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben. <laughs> uh, he beheads him. Yeah. And but, I mean, like, I'm sure like they've seen pictures of him. Just he because he's like me all the time and jerks me <laughs> off. I fucking hate this guy. Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> My son. <laughs> oh, 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 I no. oh, no. <laughs> the Empire is up above. Now they're like outsourcing. Like, we really can't find these guys. Let's just hire some bounty hunters. Uh, we don't need that scum. I love this part because he says, like, we don't need their scum. And that guy's like, yes, sir. Like, sir, this is a Wendy's. I don't I, like I, what do you want me to do about, about this. Like, I, I'm just trying to do my job. Can yeah. you just chill? I'm a navigator. Yeah. <laughs> don't use them. Use them. I sit here, look at the like, screen and press a dial. That's all I do. It's the equivalent of him like, OK, buddy, we don't need their scum. <laughs> just go on about that. Meanwhile, they're <laughs> actually hiring them anyway, though. <laughs> yeah, right. He's just right, upset right. about it. Uh, <clears throat> never mind. We got him, sir. <laughs> Because they they found them after that. Yeah. Uh, These bounty hunters do work. Yeah. <laughs> They're right there. Uh, so they start shooting at the Falcon. The light speed still doesn't work. Leia's very frustrated. It's kind of a comedic thing. Um and then he, they're they're running out of like shield batteries. Like you can only get shot so many times in all these space movies. That's a thing. And so he's like, We put all our energy in the front shield. We're gonna turn around and fly right at him, right? Uh, and then they disappear. Um yeah, they duck on the bridge. The ship no longer appears on our scopes. Well, we find out later that they're just like barnacling the yeah. Imperial cruiser. <clears throat> uh, but <laughs> right. Captain Neat is like, literally like, hey, they disappeared off our scope. And Captain Neat is like, well, I guess we lost them. <laughs> uh, literally, they just flew in front of us. Yeah. They're gone now. And, and then that one the guy's like, hey, I, I know this is bad timing, but Vader wants an update. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Fuck. Neat is like, <laughs> shit i'm gonna yeah. take the l with vader guys yeah it's gonna be fine i know he choked out the last two <laughs> but i feel like he likes me <laughs> can you tell him to hold <laughs> i'll be right back yeah uh we cut to luke doing a fucking <clears throat> handstand um and remind me i know i'm harping on this but I, again it's my first revisit of this That's stuff okay. after all of the That's debacle okay. of the sequels okay. right and i know you guys probably brought up this argument a ton but Remind me why people were so upset how fast Ray learned because Luke Dude, had almost I, no I, training. I, I've never understood you're, that. You're barking up the wrong tree, man. Because I, I just is like perplexed. It's just they, they hate women. There's literally a scene in Return of the Jedi where Luke comes back and Yoda's like, "So I, your training is over." I was kidding. There was a moment <laughs> for instance, is what it is. There was a book called uh, Splin called Splinter of the Mind's Eye when I was a kid that yeah. explained how Luke got his kyber crystal and i believe in that book it sort of imbued him with like extra force so that's how he was able to learn so fast plus he's a descendant of like the guy who has the most force so <laughs> by default he's going to be like better at learning how to be um good with with midi chlorians you mean yes right 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 so um i always attributed it to that like he's it's like well he's got like a head start because he's like his his background is being a Skywalker and also this dumb book that's not canon anymore. <laughs> nope. So. Nope. He's got higher midichlorian count than anybody. Uh, so, yeah, he's he's doing a handstand. Uh, he's definitely Mary Sue. And then I, lo I love, though, that he's constantly like, oh, we'll, we'll never get the ship out now. And then Yoda's like, a whiny bitch you are. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the dynamic of this whole scene. And yeah. I, I love it so much. I do love because so Yoda goes on this great you know, speech about what the force is like luminous beings are weak, not just crude matter. Like I love that whole performance yeah, and what he's great. saying, but there, there are so many dick jokes. Cause he's like, it's too big. Masters is too big. And he's like, judge me by my size. Do you like, <laughs> <laughs> see what's so funny? You know how I am. 
None of that occurred to really? me. Really? <laughs> that's thought, crazy. I thought you would I have thought come in with all of them written down. No. I thought you would have had like a tight, tight five on this one scene no. just because of all that. I'm actually really wrapped into uh, Frank Oz's performance. Uh, oh, it's wow. incredible. Like the, the we get the legendary try not do or do not. There is no try. There is no try. Like it's so fucking good, right? Yeah. And then I put... He does not. <laughs> George was George Lucas actually was really trying to he tried to make this whole campaign for Frank Oz to be nominated for an Academy Award. Definitely for like best supporting actor should have been. But, you know, it was the 80s and the Academy is like <laughs> puppeteers aren't actors. I mean, he does a great job. But like, I don't know what came out in 1980 against this, but like, I don't know if it's like Academy Award winning. I mean, it's great, but I don't like, is it Academy Award winning? Do you remember any of the other supporting actors from that, from 1980? No. Exactly. I don't even know what won Best Picture that year. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's what we're saying, Steve. <laughs> I'm Phil. <laughs> oh, fuck him though, you know what I mean? Um, what did win Best Picture? I'm, I'm curious now. This uh, Ordinary People won Best Picture in... Uh, 1981 and Timothy Hutton won for his role in ordinary people. Bing, bang, boom. Do you remember ordinary pe people? Phil? No. <laughs> See, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he should have been Luke walks away all sad, like <laughs> and kicks a rock. Uh, and then Yoda's like, watch this whore and <laughs> <laughs> raises the ship. Uh, and then it's really well done. I like, this yeah. is like my favorite yeah. cut in the whole trilogy. Luke says, I don't believe it. And Yoda goes, that is why you fail. That is why you fail. The music in this scene is so, so good. good, too. It's very, oh, I love it. Oh, we're going to get pulled down. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. No oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Apology accepted. You're not even allowed to, like, Nita. mime it. Uh, we cut to Nita. Apology does not go well. He's getting choked to death. And then uh, <clears throat> the next dude is promoted to admiral, and he's like, "I kind of don't want the job." <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but what, man, what does what does it, it pay? Great, what a great business! Like business is booming for the two dudes whose job it is to carry dead bodies off the bridge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. like, "Well, getting a reps in the day." They're like the guys from John Wick that get the coins to clear the bodies. Yeah. Vader dusts more more of his team in this movie than he does. <laughs> Yeah, the opposing side. <laughs> we didn't even talk about the when he has like a three way Zoom call with the with two, three other captains and an asteroid just blasts one of the star destroyers. You just see the one go. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did that with the force over the three way yeah. call. Never answer the phone when Vader calls. That's yeah. the number one rule. Um, <clears throat> but the Falcon is on their ship. <laughs> Vader calls and you say, text me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Pull a Steve. That's why I just don't text answer. Me. Right. Yeah. Just text me. Right. Right. Uh, C-3PO is bitching again. This is when Leia turns him off. Uh, and then apparently the protocol is to take a dump before you go to light speed. Oh, you don't take a dump? <laughs> before mean, light speed? Any trip. Go to the bathroom first. I get it. So they dump all their garbage. His plan is to float off with the garbage. And that's when he says, oh, I'm going to go see my buddy Lando Calrissian. It's, uh, and it's, uh, for no reason. Like the planet's not even close. The Lando system. Yeah, the whole area is named after him. Uh, and then she kisses him like you do have your moments. But ooh, Boba Fett, one of the bounty hunters, saw him. Oh, He's hit yeah. to his shit. Mr. It, Bob A. Feet himself. Is, <laughs> isn't that the kind of ship that uh, Din Djarin uses? No, but uh, when Din Djarin hangs out with Boba Fett, he hangs yeah, out in that the ship. ship. Yeah. The slave um, one. What's it called? The slave one. I don't like it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought you were saying the slave one at did first. They, and I was like, uh-huh. Did, it, did I, I read I that think, they like renamed the ship? Like Jizz? I think. <laughs> yeah. Did they re, did they rename <clears throat> the slave one? I think it's called indentured serve to <laughs> one now. <laughs> oh, the, uh, oh, so canonically, they, they just changed it to what the, the ship is. The type of ship because you, you remember yeah, what the, the fire fire spray, spray? Yeah. yeah so apparently canonically the ship is now just the fire spray hmm. that's better which i mean yeah. i get it yeah, yeah. it's better <clears throat> uh but yeah um we cut to luke doing a fucking handstand again uh and uh luke sees the future sees that his friends are in pain always in motion is the future like my cheeks and twerks it's weird <laughs> and then luke <laughs> Luke can't leave to go help them. He kind of accepts that at first. We cut to Han talking to to the people on Lando's planet. Um, Bespin. Do you have a landing permit? I don't know why I did Yoda again. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have two jobs I have. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I owe student loans I owe. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Chewie, uh, but Chewie brings up something Lando might be pissed about. And it's really funny. Do you guys know? Cause it's not really explained. I'm sure you do what Lando's angry about. Yes. Or do yes. you learn that in the solo movie or something? Yes. It, well, they feel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is in the solo movie, but it's one of those things that like growing up in the expanded universe, it was always that. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I don't uh, know if you watched Empire Strikes Back in the moment, you would not know what this is. Yeah. It's not explained like when this movie came out, it was not, not. Yeah. yeah but, but it's nice. It's a cool <clears throat> character thing. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You, you, it makes you wonder about Han's history. Right. You, you know? might be but, able to infer what it is because Lando does talk about like, ah, uh, she's the, the Falcon used to be my ship. He kind of mentions like, that. You lost her to me. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Square. We do. Yeah. We do. <clears throat> get that bit of information that it used to be Lando's ship. But also like, it's so funny to me how shitty the solo movie is because watching this, and I'm sure you felt this way. Han has the most intriguing, like, Ooh, I wonder what that was like backstory, you know? Cause he's like this rogue, you know, with this, he's been on many adventures. He owes money to all these gangsters. He does cool shit. Uh, other than like, Oh, I wonder what the, you know, the, the, the full Jedi order Republic was like, um, it's like, oh, that's interesting, you know. And then we got this solo. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the movie. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll love it. But Han tells Chewie to, you know, keep your eyes open, <clears throat> even though he's pretending to be really comfortable and everything's going to be fine. He's actually quite worried about what Orlando might do. I think it's what I got from it. Uh, Lando's super pissed at him, but then hugs him. You know, um, good rotten swindler. I'm just kidding. Vader's in the kitchen uh <laughs> come on in <laughs> he does a willy wonka he's like, yeah he just he, he, you think he's all mean but he's like <laughs> he does that he like, does laugh. the front roll and everything yeah um, what are you doing here you fire it's so good to see you <laughs> that was really good that was really good i love billy d williams yeah uh and then what have you done to my ship uh he puts the riz on leia yeah <sighs> hello what have we here oh my god have you ever thought about wearing a chain and a bikini? Do you want some Colt 45 malt <laughs> liquor? <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, C-3PO. There's a funny scene where he finds like one of his people and he's like, oh, what's up, my friend? And tries to dap him up and the guy just goes, Echuta, Echuta. Echuta. What is that? How mean? rude. How rude. How rude. We, I think it means eat dicks. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's true. And then he goes into the closet where like apparently seven stormtroopers are cowering when shh, shh, shh. <laughs> and he gets blasted guys, to pieces. Guys, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. They're here, they're here, they're here. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and then Luke wants to leave without complete, completing the training. He changed his mind. He slept on it. Actually, I am leaving. Um, and then Ben's force ghost comes out and he's like, Luke, you don't know shit, my dude. Wait, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> don't do yeah. it no uh you will be tempted by the dark side of the force and uh, he tells him i don't want to lose you the way i lost vader uh wait till you see the movies <clears throat> it's tragic it really is <laughs> uh i see i had the high ground that uh, yeah, doesn't matter we'll talk about it later um i do love how they're trying to convince him but they realize that they're, they're not going to change his mind. So they immediately switch tactics and like, okay, <clears throat> if you're going to fight him, uh, don't give in hate. Uh, yeah. you know, have, you know, keep your feet shoulder width, width apart, mm -hmm. have a strong stance. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about Padme. It really throws him <laughs> off. If he throws paper, make sure you throw, throw scissors. scissors. <laughs> you almost said rock. I almost said rock. <laughs> <laughs> the boy, that boy is our last hope. And then no. Yoda drops a bomb here. There is another. Yeah. Is he talking about Leia? Yes. But up to this point, like no one knows what that means. Yeah. And people had to wait like years Three. to to find out <laughs> what that means. <laughs> yes. Right. I love that shot too, because <clears throat> it's just on the Yoda. glow of the X Wing. Yeah, and you see yeah. like it goes dark and then the glow of the lights of the X Wing. Obi Wan vanishes at one point. And yeah. yeah, it's really cool. I would have liked Leia better. Like For, if she had a saber and stuff, that'd have been really cool. Oh, sure, yeah. That'd be sweet. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> you get to see a little bit of that in one of the sequel trilogy movies. So there's, a, there's a flashback. Is there? Yeah, it's it's when Luke's training her. It's it's a real quick scene, but she has like I think a green saber. Oh, mm -hmm. of course she would. I think, or maybe it was blue. Maybe it's blue because Luke <clears throat> has the green. Never mind. Yeah, it's Luke, blue. Luke it's is blue. a green guy. Yeah, uh, but Han tells Leia the green boy that the ship is almost done. Uh, she doesn't trust Lando. She doesn't like being there. Again, she's like changed. They've been there for a while. So I assume she's like they've all showered and stuff, which is funny to me. And she's worried about 3PO because no one's been able to find him. Maybe how Chewie finds the 3PO pieces uh, and they're all being really hesitant with Lando there. He's like, no, it's going to be fine. I'm not going to betray you at all. Come over here. And then <laughs> there is one funny part part when Lando goes to get them to like take them to the dinner with Vader. And he's like, problem with your droid? And Luke's like, or Han's like, 
No problem. Why? But yeah, <laughs> just this just droid, just box of <laughs> charred droid arms and heads. Nah. Yeah. He does this all the time. Yeah, this classic yeah. 3PO. And then they open the door and fucking Vader's sitting there at this dining room table. And I've just made a deal that'll keep the Empire out of here forever. Uh, and yeah, he really didn't need to like lay that on so thick, like knowing what he knew was behind that door. Like he really yeah, tied he that it up. Yeah. It's it's space opera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vader's in there. I like that they can't shoot him. This is the first time where we've gotten the gives him the hand. Force yeah. Buck. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> stop it. Just stop. I am just so fascinated about what they had for dinner. It was like Darth Vader like we catered Olive Garden breadsticks. They're great. <laughs> mm. Come, come when you're here, your Bottom family. Le- right, Leia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad most people won't appreciate that. I love it. <laughs> but Luke, uh, Luke's heading to save them against advice and uh, Chewie wailing at his cage, mourning 3PO. <laughs> then he's like, actually, I'll just fix you. Um, and then the... <laughs> Stormtroopers are the ones that had shot him. That oh, no, I've been shot. That's a cool reveal, though. Like yeah. when he comes back on as though he's in that moment still. Yeah. Uh, Vader has a sex chair. Can we can we talk about this? <laughs> that's what that is. I know that's what that is. The thing that they're putting Han yeah. towards. God. God. So I mentioned in the first <gasps> movie that like that like <laughs> torture droid. They didn't even ask me any questions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Did, did the table scare you like yes. the, the torture droid? Yes. I I have like a thing with that. Like I just don't like the thought of being So if you came tortured, your wife had like ropes and everything everywhere you'd be like ah! <laughs> yes sure <laughs> <laughs> yes no but but that always like spooks spooked me because like it like glows red too and then it gets like close closer Sparks. to it and it begins to spark like it did we don't even know me. what it does he's harm- know, he's right, unharmed right. when we see him next he's right. just like Ugh. i right. feel terrible yeah <laughs> i'm traumatized that's what that's i hate that i liked it literally han solo coming in and saying i feel terrible like the way he does like that's just me every time i get home from work <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i um, feel terrible <laughs> so then after the sex chair they say we're going to take him to job of the <clears> hut <throat> Uh, after once I have Skywalker, because the whole point is to bait Skywalker into coming there. He's no good uh, to be dead. Vader tells Lando that Leia and the, and the Wookiee can't leave the planet. He doesn't say kill them. He just says they have to stay here forever. <laughs> you take good care of them. Make oh, sure darn. Come. I have to spend the rest of my life in this beautiful floating city yeah. Yeah. with a perpetual sunset. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> darn. <laughs> uh, but then uh, they drop Han... <laughs> With Chewie and 3PO and Leia, which I LOL. This kind of stuff that bothers me, Phil. It's like, and again, don't nitpick it too much, but it's like, I hate the James Bondiness of it all. Like, don't put all of your people uncuffed in one room. Like, it's just bad right. form. Yeah, you know, I get yeah. that it's it's good TV because they get to talk, but why would you? Do, why? Right. Why would you do that? Um, <clears throat> it's all, Cloud they, City. They don't. They only have the one cell. They got one cell. <laughs> Not a lot of crime happens in Cloud right. City. They never right. even ask me any questions. And then Lando shows up in there. And he's like, oh, I'm real sorry, guys. And <laughs> gets decked. Han punches Lando. <laughs> and then we get Double the whole problems. bit where they, they want to freeze Luke, but they want to make sure it doesn't kill people first. So they test it on Han Solo. I like the, is it, it's Boba Fett, right? Yeah. He's like, well, I, I need him. He's yeah. worth a lot of money. He's no good to me, I, dude. I'll pay you if I freeze him to death. Accidentally. They also changed his voice for the cut that you watched. Because yeah. Oh, they put um, yeah. Tamora Morrison. I yeah. thought that was neat that it was Tamora Morrison's voice. Yeah. That wasn't how it sounded back no, then. No, no. I, it, he didn't come until the prequels. Correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When they, when they established that uh, Boba Fett is a clone of Jango Fett. Yeah. And I, and I, that's one of the things I do like that they change because yeah, I just love Tim, Timora Morrison's yeah. voice. He's just a cool sounding it, dude. It works yeah. really well. Yeah. And like the like original voice wasn't substantially different. Like it yeah. didn't have the accent, but it had like it the wasn't same like inflection. Peace off ghost. Deep, deep, deep <laughs> peace off ghost. So, the um, pulls you off. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> you want to go get Han Solo? <laughs> hey man. I bet he's going to do the garbage trick. I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bottle claw on this Star Destroyer and just wait and just wait patiently. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I'm going to find, I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him. <laughs> Any who's all. Uh, yeah. So they're all in the cell there. Things are not looking good there, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to find where I was. We have so much of yeah, this movie left. <laughs> not really. Talk about. 
I kind of yada yada it in my notes. So, at least. Yeah, we can get into the the, the carbonite freezing chamber scene. Mm, where they they, they, they load them all into the chamber. It's a really cool set. They've, Wookie they've, has uh, the three PO backpack. He does. Can't pass true, that up. True. Yeah. The Wookie, uh, Chewbacca, sir. Yeah, my note has says Wookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's it's a great scene because if he dies. He dies. Yeah. There's a, he dies. He dies. You get the Boba Fett. You get like Chewie freaking out and he starts throwing troopers around. Throwing troopers. <laughs> and I and I love how Han Solo is really like, hey. Chewy, this isn't going to help me. Like you have to, you have to protect Leia. Like, right? It's it's very. I don't know. Th- this seems, and you know, especially as a kid, you're like, oh my gosh, th- something really bad's happening, and we can't stop it. You're powerless. Yeah, Ooh, it's and, got chills. And just the whole, you know, right before he goes in, you get the iconic "I love you" and the "I know," which was Harrison's ad lib, right? Oh, uh, he took issue yes. with the line the way it was written. And my understanding he is he's supposed to say he, "I love you too." Yeah. He suggested that change to it, and they liked it. So it's a, great. Yeah, it's good. So according to <clears throat> um, Wikipedia, Alan Arnold's book, Once Upon a Galaxy, a journal, a journal of making the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, there's actually is a trans somehow. I don't know how he has it, but there's a transcript between Harrison Ford and Irvin Kirshner. And Ford suggests the line there. It's not like he just said it. Right. Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, but the, the original line was it's really bad. The, the original line is so she, <clears throat> Leia says, I love you. And apparently in the original script, Han Solo was supposed to say, just remember that, Leia, because I'll be back. Like, Yikes. it's a very long-winded, like, that's a terrible line. That's awful. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and the no, I know. No, I'm so in love with you. <laughs> that what do that. you want? Uh, but yeah, the I know is so much better. Yeah. Such a great line. Yeah. And then he's frozen in carbonite, and Vader says, take the princess and Wookiee to his ship. <laughs> I want to show them my chair. Uh, and Lando's like, well, I thought they were going to hang out with me and we were going to be buds. And they were like, well, I changed my mind. Do you want me to change other shit? Yeah. yeah I can do that. Yeah. This deal's getting worse all the time. And then Luke, well, Lando has none of the cards at this point. And he knows like I, he could do whatever he wanted should, at this point. Shouldn't I have been in bed like, with the Empire. Out. He's got a bad Sabacc hand. <clears throat> yeah. We cut to Luke sneaking in with his blaster. And uh, the most l- and the loudest, biggest droid that he can possibly tote around <laughs> with <laughs> it's like the least stealthy way to. I do love how he, he picked Luke has learned his stealth skills from Obi-Wan from the first movie where it's like corner of the hallway <laughs> to the other corner. Of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Use your le- teachings, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Do the thought thing. <laughs> Leia screams. It's a trap. And Luke. Fun um, fact about this scene. So. Jeremy Bullock is the actor who plays Boba Fett. He's the person in the suit. That's Jay Book. That's Jay Book. Mm. When they were filming this scene where Leia's like, look, it's a trap. Look, it's a trap. The guy, the Imperial officer that kind of grabs her and like forces her along. I guess that actor that was supposed to be there just wasn't there that day or there was something, <clears throat> there was an issue with the costume not fitting him. And Jeremy Bullock was just there because he plays Boba Fett. And they're like, wait, these are Jeremy's dimensions. Jeremy, get in here. So the <laughs> officer that is pulling Princess Leia around is the guy who plays Boba Fett, just huh. unmasked, which is kind of just a fun little, that's fun, fun little trivia bit. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. So eventually Luke uh, is being funneled by the Empire into the carbonite chamber where he meets <gasps> Darth Vader. The force is strong with you. Yeah, and he's like, 1v1 me, whore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And his plan is to essentially like put Luke in that pit to freeze him. Yes. Yeah. They cross Because sabers. he wants to transport him to the Emperor unscathed. The Emperor's prize will not be damaged. Right. And then Lando double crosses the troopers, frees Chewie and Leia, uh, but they're too late to <laughs> save Han. And uh, Han, I'm sorry, excuse me, uh, Boba takes off. He's like, ah, I got my Han... Icicle. That's all I need. So Lando has a little mm-hmm. robot buddy named Lobot. Yeah. You know, he's oh. the bald guy with the, you know, because he had a lobotomy, so they named him Lobot. Uh, <laughs> oh, you look like Lobot right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than Vader with the helmet off. True. True. I always, feel, I, I always have a soft spot in my heart for Lobot, not because I like the character, really, because the character's like nothing. But the first Star Wars convention I ever went to <laughs> in Cincinnati, he had <laughs> Kenny Baker Peter Mayhew, Jeremy Bullock, David Prowse, like <clears throat> Anthony Daniels, like all these people that play these fan favorite characters. Everyone's lining up, you know, you, they wait, you know, Nobody an hour was in so. Lobot's line. And then in the fucking middle of this lineup is Lobot's table and no one oh, was so there. Sad. And this poor actor's just sitting there just kind of like, oh, they stuck me right next to David Prowse who plays Darth Vader. and <laughs> That breaks my heart. Peter Mayhew who plays Chewbacca and... No one remembers Lobot. And it was, I remember I was nine years old thinking, 
I actually, I remember asking my stepdad who was with me, like, should we go get his autograph? I feel so bad for him. And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that oh. the guy with the boat? Uh, his brother had the oh. boat. <laughs> the guy who introduced you. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. whole thing started with him. <clears throat> Boba takes off. The troopers start attacking them. R2 is just fucking running around trying to do beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Uh, Vader is like slightly impressed with Luke. Impressive. Uh, Most it, impressive. Obi-Wan. He says this like six times in the trilogy, I think. Obi-Wan has trained you well. Yeah. <laughs> I knew him for an afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so, so this goes back to that moment where I'm like, what's the plan, plan here? When we discuss like how the story just like doesn't know where to go sometimes. Um, so Luke oh falls my. in the pit. Yes. And Vader turns around to like force flick the controls on and Luke jumps out and jumps up into the wires and tubes and shit. Oh, too easy. And then he <laughs> he basically yeah. just like like destroys all the tubes and I presume that like destroys the machine to freeze him. No. Oh, Those no, are unrelated to That was just the AC for the floor above him. <laughs> yeah. But like what's the plan plan here? If he needs to deliver him to the Emperor unscathed, what's the plan at this point? Like, Sometimes you gotta change the plan. But like what is the plan? Like gotta, cause he like because like as the fight him. goes on, like he keeps here's where I'll fighting him. Here's where I'll push back, surprisingly. Okay. A lot of things about these movies bother me. Okay. All right. But all of the bad choices that Vader makes are less silly to me because I'm able to rationalize there's the part of good in him that knows this is his son that is like making bad decisions because he's self-sabotaging. He's conflicting. He's, yes. <clears throat> like there's all the times where he hesitates or yeah. makes a dumb decision or is silly and lets them go. Like there's a scene in, in return where he's like, let the ship go. It'll right. be fine. And it's not fine. It's the reason they lose. <laughs> right. But I'm like, he wanted them to live. You know what I mean? Whereas everything else is like, that's just dumb. Yeah, I just don't know how he rationalizes it to the emperor he at that wanted, point. He just wanted a couple more minutes with his kid. We yeah. went mano y mano. <laughs> I could have taken him, but you told me you wanted to bring him back. I mean, really, it's your fault. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He fell off a really long way. I cut off his arm. <laughs> the good one, too. It's the reason he's going to be a lefty now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, he, he cuts off his, oh, no, that's, that's not yet, but he pushes him the carbonite, then like force clicks the button for the machine, which is really cool. He's like, uh, you, you know, he uses that in the sack, like when the lady's in the bed and the switch is across the room, he's like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, cause this is before clappers were invented. Sure. This is a long time ago. <laughs> Galaxy far, far away. Right. <laughs> right. But then Luke force jumps out, super fucking cool, uh, fucking smokes him, grabs his saber, force grabs his saber. That's a cool sequence. That's okay. Cool, yeah. Obi-Wan has taught you well. He didn't teach me this. <laughs> uh, and he's like, now, hate fight me. <laughs> yes. To be fair, like he doesn't know that Yoda has made contact with him. So yes. he just assumes that he, because the last time he saw You've, Luke... You've, together where Luke was with Obi-Wan. So yeah. in his mind, he's just like, I just assume that they don't know Yoda's alive. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's why he keeps saying that you fight as though you've done many handstands in a swamp. <laughs> uh, and then he ends up like knocking Vader off the ledge. And when Vader gets hurt, <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Is that <laughs> everybody thinks that's funny, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Vader throws a bunch of random stuff at him. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can stop anytime you want say uncle um and then, and then he like breaks the circle window and it's, it's really it's 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 cool it's dynamic but i like this moment because he grabs the wall like oh where like Vader's. even he's not strong enough to withstand the draw of the pressure Gravity. out the yeah when when like and it reminds you that like oh yeah he's not like he's not a god like he's just a really strong <sighs> man still but even that is still not <laughs> enough to like yeah yeah that's it he's mostly machine though. right right <laughs> small machine now but man uh, Lando doesn't know the new security code and uh, they need R two to override the system. Uh, and then Lando's like, hold on, the whole city should probably leave. I'm sorry, I fucked everything up, guys. It's uh, it's going to get real lame around here. And who do we see? Ice cream maker guy. Will Row Hood, baby. <laughs> what? No, there's a random um, uh, uh, denizen of Cloud City as everyone's like evacuating and running. There's a guy who runs like in f like clear front of the frame who's just holding an ice cream maker. <laughs> It, really? Well, it, it's this device that like looks vaguely like one, but oh, it's definitely an ice cream maker. Star Wars fans have like 
essentially just like massaged every movie to the point where like every minor thing has a back backstory. Right. And this random guy that that runs through the frame for less than like three seconds has a whole name, a backstory, yeah. and they called him uh, or he, or his name is Will Rowe Hood, but he was colloquial, colloquially referred to as ice cream maker guy. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> and his legend has grown so much over the years that if you go to Star Wars conventions, certain Star Wars conventions have the running of the Will Rowe Hoods, where all the people who cosplayed as Will Rowe Hood will run just around. It's like the <laughs> deepest, dumbest cut that you can possibly pull from this movie. We save some pussy yeah. for the rest of us. <laughs> guys <laughs> you know um his, i have that action figure his too. line to sign autographs was longer than lobots oh, for oh, sure. probably. <laughs> poor, oh. lobot. poor lobot it's because he's bald yeah. i get it um and then they escape to the falcon at that moment uh luke runs into vader again Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah. He he nicks Vader and he's like, owie. Ah. <laughs> but then Vader gets Ooh. pissed when he does that. He's like, oh, that's how you want to play. Cuts off his take your hand. Cuts off his hand. You've only begun to discover your power. <laughs> uh, and then we get the iconic. No, I am your father. No, <laughs> no, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! I love it. Wow. And he tries to recruit him now. You can destroy the emperor. He has foreseen this. We can rule the galaxy as father and son. But instead, Luke just call me Papa. He's like, I'm going to the sh- the. I like it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Luke just jumps off the platform. He's like, I'm going to see you in the Discovery Zone tube. See ya. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of. So, are we to assume he like force meditated an escape hole? I think he he may have like um, coordinated his his fall with the trajectory of the way the tube was. So when he hit the tube, it like followed the con contour of the, I'm cool with all of it. I'm just saying like, the only reason I I, I think think there is a force involved. Yeah. Yeah. He would have like forced open the door to let him get into that. The only reason he knew the hole was there is because of the force. Mm -hmm. You have to assume. Sure. Um, It's, it's very impressive by Mm -hmm. the way. It's just kind of yada yada. And yet this is the most impressive magical thing he does in the entire trilogy. This is, yeah, honestly. this is up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's he just, falls a very so long far. way and survives. I yeah. mean, honestly, that hand was <clears throat> holding him back. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. He yeah. cut off that hand and opened up his chakras or something. <laughs> but I like when he does that. Vader's just like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, hmm. it, like fuck. he's got his like arm out and then he just like drops it. Right. Like yeah. he's like, eh, fuck. I wish there was <laughs> a Mel grip. Mel Brooks kind of like. Honestly, didn't see that coming. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just something. I need it so I bad. I wish they would have kept the camera on him because, and you would have just seen like these little weird shuffles. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just kind of looking at her like, beat. I, he's uh, like, <sighs> he's like, oh, how do I get back up there now? <laughs> and instead of like telling someone, hey, is there a bottom to that? <laughs> yeah. He just like, well, I guess I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> My job is done here. Um, I never had a father. It's, no, I didn't learn how to do it. Just mumbling about that as he walks away. It's hard being a dad. <laughs> no one taught me. I learned from a lady named Shmi. Uh, <clears throat> and then Luke, yeah, he throws himself off into the slippy slide. And then he's dangling off of Cloud City, which is like terrifying. I have, a, I have kind of a ben. issue. I have an issue with heights. So yeah, this is no, an accelerating yeah. scene. Yeah. He's, just, he's just hanging off one of those old like TV antennas that you'd see on top of houses, but they inverted yeah. it. Yeah. Ben. And then Ben's not answering. So oh, Leia. Leia. And she does because she has she's a force user. We she find out it. she's got the shitting. She yeah. does, <laughs> and she, I, I, I know where Luke is. We've got to go back. Um, and then and there's one little bit where she's like, "Chewie, let's go." And Lando's like, "We can't go back." And she was like, "Get the fuck off me!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm so mad at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we cut briefly to Vader, and he's like, "Tell the Star Destroyer to run my bubble bath." <laughs> like essentially, yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah. It's like prepare for my arrival. Open my egg. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be in it shortly, and you know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> I'll be cleaning my room. No one disturb me. They pick up Luke <clears throat> while he's hanging around. Um, does Luke go for a kiss when he's in like the 
the bed. Cause there's a moment where she leans in and he's like, hmm? she kisses him. I think he goes in for like a deep smooch though. And, and, and she gives oh, him the forehead. And yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, something's Cause, changed. Cause she's like been with Han now, you yeah. know? Um, the the, the one thing about this movie that I always kind of roll my eyes at is when uh, Vader starts doing the the Zoom conference to Luke over their mind. And he's like, Luke. And he's like, father. father. Yeah. It's so melodramatic and kind of like, that's eh, not. Oh, father, I, hate, I hate it. Ben. <laughs> I, I hate it. Father. Because they're chased by TIE fighters. The hyperdrive's still not fixed. Vader has had some men deactivate the hyperdrive, but R2-D2 it's knows. <clears throat> And then we get the whole Luke, father, son, Ben. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me? I would just like to point out. So, so Lando retrieves Luke off of the weather vane. Mm -hmm. But that's a cool thing. It's like, a, yeah, and he clips in and I like all that. But like, as, but like aside from that, because like Luke and Lando have not met yet. No. Lando has seen him down the hall for like a second, yeah. but he doesn't know who Luke is yet. And he he pulls him into the what, ship. What, he got the wrong guy? <laughs> well, <laughs> and then after Luke gets back up Wilfro. from like getting his from getting his hand replaced in yeah. that like mitt, um, the first interaction that Lando has besides it, Lan, 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 uh, uh, Lando and Luke have besides um, him retrieving him off off of the vein is Lando word wordlessly grabs Luke by the hips and moves past past him. I just think that's so funny. Like, I just like never thought of it that Excuse way. Me? Like he does not know Luke at all. And he's like, just passing by. <laughs> like, don't mind me. It's just so, so weird. Cause, cause they don't even talk in this movie. I, I don't believe like they shared words when he retreat or out? in the maybe, cockpit. Maybe, maybe through like the, the, the intercom when they're leaving to go find Han at the end. But like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I mean, what, but like, there's like very little Luke Lando interaction. What is here. there to say? Right, but S sorry about your hand. Right. <laughs> in my mind, it's like Luke and Lando and Han and Leia. They're all like BFFs, but yeah. in this moment, they they just met. Sorry You're, about your hand, kid. Sorry about losing your city, man. <laughs> <laughs> your dad sucks. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, they escape. R2 fixes the hyperdrive. They zip away. <clears throat> the new Admiral, it, newly promoted, is very scared. Uh, and uh, this is the fourth Admiral of this movie, I think. But this is yet. This is my favorite oh. Vader moment of the whole of movie where he's just like, just see him watch the ship take off and then you just see him look out, look back, and then just like quietly walk off the bridge without a word. Like, yeah. He's and, like so pissed. And yeah. everyone on that bridge is just watching him because they're like, oh, they're like, fuck. <laughs> It's so tense. Oh, no. And he's just like, I'm going back to my egg. The, like, bo <laughs> the, the body picking up dudes are like, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, right, right, come right, on. Right. No right. one. And, right. And then they split up at the end. Luke and Leia go to the hand store and Chewie and Lando <laughs> take off. <laughs> what? And, and Lando went to the hand store as well because he's wearing Han's clothes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hand store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Uh, and yes, you're right. This is a dark ending because there is a little bit of relief in some respects. But like our Luke's our, safe our hero is mutilated. Right. We've we've found a bombshell that he's the son of the villain, which most people hadn't read Dune and thought this was a crazy idea. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but also Han is frozen in carbonite. Like things are not looking good, and the movie's just over. <laughs> oh, Wait. Copyright. Yeah, oh, right, right, right. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> the House of Mouse is coming for us. <laughs> so that leads us to the medal ceremony. What does this movie do that better than any of the other movies? Phil, we started with you last time. So I think I like kind of said said it in the beginning. Um, I think this this movie opens the universe up in a way that A New Hope sort of introduced it, but like didn't really get into it. It just like explode exploded it with all these new worlds, all these new characters, all these new concepts with force pull and and jump and all this stuff. Like it really built upon the established lore, but like expanded it to a degree that like we hadn't seen before and sets it and really sets the stage for the next film and all the films to come. Um, like, and also like you get like the ATATs, which like we hadn't seen any imperial, uh, sh um, 
tech that was like ground based to this point, right? Because it was all ship based, right? Like with the the Tie f- Fighters and, 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 and yeah. Star Destroyers yeah. and stuff. So like we see like ground based tech, and that was super cool. Um, and it's clear like they knew they were going to make another movie, so they're like, let's just lean into like making this bigger, badder, and better. And I think they did a great job at that. So and just to summarize, because you have to do it this way, sure. right? <laughs> you are saying that's that you can't fit that on a metal. Empire Strikes Back <laughs> expands the, the universe yeah, right. better than any other movie. Better than the ones we've seen thus far. Well, that's not that's how it works. Gotta, and the metal has to be of all the movies. But we haven't seen the I know, movies yet. I well, know. That's why, well, you can't pick that one ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> When we get to the new, new hope and they're dropping trade federations you mean and Phantom Menace? or Phantom Menace, yeah. When we get to that one, you can't say that. Hey, uh, best intro to Yoda then. Mm. Hey, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not there. That's not illegal. Yeah. yeah. I keep looking at the thing and seeing my bald head and going, damn. <laughs> damn. That's hot. A robot. <laughs> Robots over there. Steve? Uh, my favorite moment, speaking of Yoda, is I think this is the best puppet in any Star Wars movie. Nay any movie period as Damn. that Yoda puppet. It's just even like in the, the prequels when they, they had the originally in a Phantom Menace, they had a different puppet for Yoda. And it looked like dog yeah, it shit. Bad. It was, it was really terrible. Bad. And then they CGI would it. And the CGI is fine. But that puppet in, in, in Empire Strikes Back, just makes so much faces life. you can't replicate. Like, yeah. we saw his butt. Like when he's bent over looking into the, like, it's so good. I love the butt, the butt, the butt. I love that little green thing. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kit? What's your what, I, what medal are you given? I think Empire. I think uh, well, I don't know how to summarize it, but it's like the edgiest movie, the clo- the the closest we get. Hmm. Rogue One, Rogue One, Ooh. Rogue One. Ooh, ooh, you changing? You changing already? I'm gonna still stick with it, even though Rogue One is edgier. I think because this is Lucas based. This is the closest that the movies. The edgiest get. of the originals. Of, I, I, we can't do that. It's not against the rules of the metal ceremony, but that is true. But it's like, it's the closest. So it's a rule breaker. He's a bad boy. <laughs> it's the closest in the entire Skywalker like saga. That's for sure. The nine movies to having a fucking pair of nuts, you know, like <laughs> you almost make some choices and, uh, and it's funny how much you just, it just swings the other way with return. Uh, but like this one is, it's dark. It's, it gets there. Um, and I, I know, again, I know they're kids' movies, um, but I just would like them more if they weren't, you know? Mm-hmm, sure. Uh, I think the decisions for the characters would be better if you just, like, fully went there. And Empire kind of mostly does. <clears throat> goes there, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, it, it went there. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl, it went there. Uh, and so now it's time to rank the two movies that we've seen thus far and agree upon the ranking. Do, do we agree that... So right now, currently, the standing is A New Hope is number one. <laughs> That's right. Sure. And also The Last Place. And in Last Place. Yeah. So the question we have to ask ourselves, is Empire Strikes Back better or worse than A New Hope? Unequivocally better. <laughs> so Phil is yeah. unequivocally better. Kit? I can I can get with that. You can get with that? Because yeah. I also think Empire is unequivocally better than Easy. New Hope. Yeah. Easy. So the ranking now is Empire Strikes Back number one. Number two, st- A New Hope. Indeed. Fair enough. Which brings us to the close of the episode. It's a long one. So what a better way to close the episode than to read the Mad Libs that you guys wrote in the beginning of the episode. Are you Lay ready it upon me. to ready. hear it? Ready. All right. This Mad Libs is called Boba Fett's Guide to Bounty Hunting. Here we go. It was Luke Skywalker's destiny to follow in his father's gooch steps. <laughs> <laughs> the same can be said for the gooch-like bounty hunter, Boba Fett. <laughs> to be a bounty hunter, one must live by a few very patient rules. Number one, always be ready to blast at the slightest sign of trouble. That actually, like, yeah, fucking actually works. kind of work for that, yeah. Have your jet carnival on your back and your spaceship <laughs> ready to take off at a moment's clown. <laughs> Doesn't work. You never know when you'll have to pursue a runaway octopus. It's true. It's always a bigger fish. It's always a bigger fish. Number two, don't ask too many horses. (laughs) They they lie. Okay. They They gotta get horses. (laughs) You don't want to anger a boss like Jabba the Jungle. (laughs) Jabba the Jungle? Or Darth May. Oh, that's true. Play it safe. 
just keep your nipples open <laughs> and your cheeks shut. <laughs> That's why you wanted him to make it butt cheeks so bad. <laughs> you need to inscribe that on this wall. Just have keep that in your the studio. nipples open and your cheeks shut. <laughs> you need to put that on the wall in here. Number three, stay healthy. Get a stout night's sleep every night. Eat your green huts and get some lustful exercise. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That way you'll Dude. always be ready for any lightsabers the universe throws at you. Hey, that, and that kind of works. That there. works. Yeah. And yeah, that is this episode's Mad Libs. Thank you guys for tuning in. That was our coverage of The Empire Strikes Back. Next week, we're doing Return of the Jedi. And then I think we're going to go even further back in time. Uh, back in time. The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. Is that is that correct? Correct information. So, yeah, look forward to that. Uh, also, later this week, we're talking about the Grand Budapest Hotel and uh, Spirited Miyazaki's away. Spirited Away as well. So tune in for that. We've got to go return some videotapes. My name is Kit. I'm Phil. <laughs> and I see he's <laughs> just this was laser streams. <laughs> Happy streaming. <laughs>